Uh, good evening, Kenyans. Uh, we are back alive so on uh, Wiper NBC. Uh, today was a day of many activities, uh, but we have chosen to focus on uh, what happened at Kasarani. Uh, Kalonzo finally was endorsed as the flag bearer of our uh, Wiper Party. Uh, he had invited quite a number of guests. Uh, there was uh, Raila Odinga, invited uh, Kidion Moy, um, Salim Davadi, Moses Wetangula, Chari Tingilu, yeah, among other leaders. Uh, we also saw there was a, quite a excitement when uh, Baba came in. Uh, and it's like uh, 6,000 delegates were happy to receive uh, Baba in the N NDC. So the question is, uh, was it a coincidence? Uh, is it that uh, people love Baba? Or was it a, a game plan of uh, Kalonzo Mshoka? Uh, while we are discussing that, we also saw that after the meeting, uh, different people uploaded uh, photos and clips of the event. And quite conspicuous was uh, that uh, Mudavadi's wall, the photos that were uploaded, <coughs> excluded uh, Baba's photos. Uh, when you marry that with his speech, he was not very excited. So is there, is Baba's entry in that NDC speaks doom for Mdavadi? Uh, is there something going on between Raila and Kalonzo? I think uh, some, in, in the process, Baba told Kalonzo that uh, our path will uh, cross again. And uh, you can see from the chemistry, the way they were seated, the way they were talking, the way they hugged each other. And uh, even Raila addressing him as my brother, we have been in a long journey with him. So does it mean they are still working together? So let's know what you think. Uh, it's good to analyze the events that happened and uh, not just uh, Okuen, uh, abusing maybe the, the whole debate. We, 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 we encourage people to be analytical in the things that happen. You may not like Raila. Yes, you may not like Alonzo. You may not like Mdavati. But we may... Be, we may appreciate more of your analysis than uh, your abuses. Let's keep uh, the debate live and uh, informative. So thank you so much. Uh, let, we, we are going to begin in the next few minutes. Let me just uh, read a few comments for people who are already in the studio. So you're welcome. I see Ken. He's saying, I can you ni ninu meandika. Let me not read that. Uh, Dan says Raila Tosha Kweli in our Zekana. Yeah, oh actually you've reminded me. Uh there's something that uh was uh in Aito Kibuakizo. What uh Kalonzo was using as a punchline, Hakika Tutaweza. Hakika Tutaweza. I, I see it marrying with Inawezekana. I was seeing so many correlations with uh, today's NDC and uh, Azimio Laumoja. So let's have that analysis. Tell us what do you think is happening. Boniface Bundi says, good evening to tuning in from Rikenye, village Rikoma ward. Okay, thank you so much. Boniface Budi says, Baba Tosha, Kenneth, Anasema, what is this? <laughs> are you, Wana uh, Olizanga, are you new in Jerusalem? <laughs> Jane says, Hakuna Kitu, Kamaio, Mutashanga, 
hata leo tulishangaa of course we expected uh, to have tension there but the, the environment was good and tulishangaa so kitu promise tutashangaa tushaanza uh, Eunice wa Wanza Raila Tosha uh, Charles anasema Kapiza Ruto Tosha that is Jane uh-huh. So uh, keep your comments coming. Uh, let's have for those who can join. I'm sharing the link. Uh, the link is already shared, but I can reshare again. And those who are unable to join, you can uh, join us through the comment section, and we will appreciate uh, for your input. Thank you so much. Here with me, I have Bennett, uh, one of our resident panelist uh so we 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 are bringing you this ndc analysis uh so you're welcome let's participate okay bernard i just want to share one clip just to recap what uh, we are saying uh maybe people may think it's their own creation but there was some ecstatic uh, environment when uh, baba ended sorry let me let me share it full Yes, guys, your analysis is very important. Was that spontaneous or something that was pre-planned, imagined that it will happen? Because uh, I, I, I want to think that if it was spontaneous, then there should have been a backlash and a, a reaction over the same from the Cologne supporters. But it seems they did have a problem. In fact, they enjoyed the moment. So let's have your input. Um, welcome to the show. We have already been at our resident panelist, Nabuera Nabi and uh, Ocheng. Nabi, are you going to prophesy what is happening? <laughs> is there a incoming relationship here or a ticket here, Kalonzo, Raila? Bernard, uh, you are the first one to come, Niambi. Um, uh, are, are you hearing me, uh, Tembe? Uh, the Baba standing out is uh, is something that has been on for a long time, and uh, there is that added uh, respect that you earn by being a Baba. Kuna kujifanya Baba na kuna kuwa Baba. Kwa Baba, kuna ishimiwa naturally and inevitably, but. Uh, was it spontaneous? I believe it was spontaneous. I don't think there was anything prearranged to happen in that way. Uh, based on the number of delegates and the people in the meeting, uh, it, will, I, <laughs> it will be quite at all something for you to get those people to respond a certain way because you want them to, to respond a certain way. Uh, basing it or rather getting it from the just the concluded as Mio La Umoja in the in the was it McWen, uh, last week I think uh, it's a build up so that this uh, NDC uh, sparked all that uh, from the chemistry that was established by Baba's visit in Okambani and uh, the Azimio La Umoja agenda. So he's, uh, he's a darling of many. 
as much as he has many faults that would want him to be otherwise. Yeye anajia kuingia katika mio ya watu na anapendwa tu hivyo pure. Wekesa over to you. Okay, now let me ask you, if it was uh, spontaneous, uh, what what is the feedback to Kalonzo? If that was spontaneous, is the crowd suggesting that uh, Kalonzo, we are comfortable with Baba, so uh, do something about it? I think that is the message um, because of the, the blowing of cold, both hot and cold from the Oka people and uh, the the long wait that their people have been waiting for i think uh, they are coming to terms that uh, uh, the next phase of kenya will require a team of everybody on board and not one individual and so i believe that the members of the wiper movement are pushing kalonzo to move in the right direction not to make the mistake that they seem to be setting themselves to do if they did otherwise other than aligning with the rest of kenyans to make kenya great again by correcting our past wrongs and securing our great future on right values and right people in right offices to secure that uh, uh, you know envisioned dream of Kenya, of uh, being prosperous and self-sufficient, self-sustaining, where every Kenyan is a Kenyan by right, not by okay. somebody's preference. Yeah. Okay, briefly comment on this. Uh, the rallying call for Kalonzo, ha Hakika, to Taweza, and then uh, also Komendo. Why did uh, Mdavadi play called on, on Baba? including avoiding all his photos on his timeline. Um, Mdabadi seemed to be Samaki Ile Memez and one. It is uh, playing in water, but it has already swallowed the hook. The same perennial problem of Mdabadi that uh, has been chasing him from uh, 2013, and uh, all along seems to be catching up with him. His uh, war against Raila doesn't build his political career like he thinks. And so uh, he's, he's hell bound to upset the, uh, the, the matrix, but uh, from every indication is going to work to his detriment. So I don't see any point that he wants to prove. Because if he has a muscle, he should show it at the ballot. If not, he should work with the rest of Kenyans. And right now, as a country, we are ailing in a, in a bad place. Nobody should be pushing the agenda. Everybody should be on the Kenya agenda. How do we secure this country for the future? So any national leader who is still thinking about his ego, and his uh, uh, his personal image and all manner of uh, personal selfish uh, end is, is it sells him as unfit for the national office. There comes a time when you can stand on your feet and defend your rights and fight for your rights, but a time comes when you need to shelf things and focus on the nation and do what is best for the nation not best for yourself. So Mdavadi is missing out on the uh, opportunity to be nationalistic enough by him retreating to his usual village, uh, you know, push. And uh, look at the, the people like Malala who are vehement about the, the, the fallout between uh, if there is anything like that, a fallout between Raila and Mudavad. Who is Malala in Kenyan politics? Uh, how can he be determining the direction that Mudavad takes? It is unheard of. He's too junior, he's too naive, he's too young. He can't be leading Mudavad. Mudavad should be leading him. So if Mudavad is following those kind of uh, people, 
then it's proof enough that he is not behaving like he ought to behave, a nationalist of his stature or a national leader of his stature. In the animosity between uh, uh, national leaders that is displayed in public is, to, in my opinion, is immature. Is immature. You, you can go, this is, in mkutana ya mdugu yako, umekwenda kwa mkutana ya mdugu yako, unapaswa kuwa hapo kusupport mdugu yako. Tena kujilimbikizia ama kujitaftia jina, kujijengea jina hapo. Ni mahala ambapo tumeenda kumsherekea ndugu yetu kwa hivyo tuna we, we front our brother so that our brother enjoys the show but we don't go there to abuse the platform to use it to settle our political difference and our political bandits that the uh, bandits that is um, what i can say on that and uh, uh, maybe on uh, it uh, alisema itawezekana ama <laughs> Alisema tutaweza. alikuwa anarudia. Eh, tutaweza na inawezekana is all the same I think. Sawa. So, Hakika tunaweza. So uh, that that in itself is um, I think is a cut getting out of the sack in time and uh, him being who he is I am sure he's already on the on the right part, on the right on in that direction of Inawezekana. Nivile tu is uh, he has to have where he has come from so that he can be respected where he's going. So I think this NDC has given him now the capacity to engage with the Azimio La Omoja even without Oka, because this Oka confusion uh, seems not to be are uh, healthy uh, and like it has been said it was a decoy to, to mesmerize these other guys i think it has served its purpose and it has outlived its life so let everyone Thank do you. their ndc and engage from their ndc to their next level of uh, their political venture Thank you for opening the ground with substantive remarks let's have uh, nabi Nabi, your opening remarks. Let's do three minutes. Uh, we go to the next person. Uh, th thank you. Uh, we can, uh, I'm happy to be on the show uh, yes. and particip participating actively for the first time. And okay. uh, I, prom I promise I'll be here most of the time. I want to make the following points. Eh? Point number one. Uh, the Meeting by Calonzo has given him the impetus to go where his heart and where his soul is. I have been in, in, in Makweni for the last three days, and I can tell you the body language of the Kamba when even the Prime Minister was there yesterday, I was there with him. The Kamba are uh, intertwined with Azimio La Umoja. So it, to me, it was not a surprise with the, the reception the Prime Minister received uh, at, at Kasarani. It just resonates with what is on the ground. But I want to remind you something. Do you know that it is the Prime Minister who carried with him Charity Ngilu? And Charity Ngilu is if you listen to Charity Ngilu, is becoming the voice of reason in all this, 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 this. Wekesa, uh, is I, everything I okay? Are, are you hearing me, Wekesa? Yeah, you are okay. I think Bernard is the, your network, maybe. We are okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so Wekesa was saying, Charity Ngilu is becoming the voice of reason in the charade of Oka and, 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 and engagement with, the, with the Azimio La Umoja. But then I want to make the, the following comments on uh, the behavior of uh, Musalia today uh, in, the, in the arena. First, he, he, was also an, he was just an invited guest like Raila was. So you cannot take on Raila 
for getting the reception he got against the reception Musalia got. You cannot. Then secondly, uh, Kalonzo is being pragmatic. Um, um, as, as of yesterday, they were not sure that Kalonzo had invited uh, Raila. But you heard from Raila's uh, own admission that he received a call uh, from Kalonzo. Now, what does that tell you? Even Kalonzo, in his engagement with Oka, he's treating them with a lot of caution. That's why he did not forewarn them that he has invited Raila. He told them the last minute, and that is why they were sulking, if I may use that word. What does that tell you? Uh, Wekesa, the truth is, Raila and uh, Kalonzo are in discussion, and we are just about to see the end of it. And in fact, what Kalonzo wanted to get, he got it today. The approval of the delegates by the reception they gave to Raila Odinga. I will always tell the, 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 the hardliners like Mutula that you see what, 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 where our people want us to go. And, and that, to me, in politics, it, it is what you need. It is the body language you need. It is the, the expression you need of, 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 of the people. What is the, the, the way forward? The way forward in this is that Raila should ignore these other fellows and proceed with Kalonzo. I know already uh, the, the agreement with the, uh, Gideon is on course. He, he should, and in, in any case, you saw he did not bother about the NDC of Ford Kenya, meaning he sees them as white, lightweight. That's what I want to say. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let's have a... Uh, Can I eat on Ocheng. We have Ocheng, then Joe, then Alicia in that order. Uh, for opening remarks, I will not invite questions. Let people make just their contribution. Uh, Is Ocheng around? Everyone. Yes, Good yes, yes. Uh, thank you so very much uh, for the opportunity. I think all of us are doing well. Uh, in regard to the subject matter, I think uh, is uh, generally loved. And uh, this love uh, is done. He has worked for it for a given period of time. And uh, even, those who do not, uh, who, those who voted, even those who haven't voted for it, there is a mic, uh, microphone in any corner. Hello? Banawekesa onanipata? They are mute. Kindly proceed. Okay, thanks. Uh, there's one thing I wanted to point out uh, that is uh, very, very critical and uh, our brother Mudavadi has been missing. There is what we call a Raila Odinga constituency. Mudavadi has never been keen in inheriting uh, the Raila Odinga constituency. And I remember in uh, 2002, after the Kanu defeat, the late Andrew Ligale is the one who brought uh, Mudavadi to Raila. Immediately, in fact, they started as early as January of uh, 2003. And uh, there is something that Kalonzo tend to understand that, uh, you know, Raila, working with Raila will give him 
the opportunity to at least inherit his constituency after his, his exit. Uh, Raila has a big constituency behind him that uh, any keen politician who has a future, who is thinking of uh, running in the future, must actually uh, look for a way of, uh, you know, gaining uh, those grounds. I didn't want to talk much because uh, we are still on it. Uh, I'll give uh, the rest of us uh, an opportunity to uh, continue with the debate as we follow up. I'm also listening. Thank you. Okay, thank you for being brief. Uh, let's have uh, Joe. Joe, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you, Bonavacosta, for letting me. Did you watch the Tasarani thing? Uh, partly, yes, but not all of it. But I think uh, I watched Raila's speech and the main, the main people, the main uh, guys there. Uh, the reception that, uh, uh, his, according to his entry, yeah? pardon, his entry. Did you see his entry? Yeah, I saw his entry. So the reception Raila got, eh? It's it's just uh, vindicating the popularity that he has uh, in the country from all over. You know, this was uh, an NDC. Delegates meeting a uh, uh, wiper. Wiper doesn't have branches all over the country, but for them to to, to make this NDC uh, a success or actualize it, they had to bring delegates from all over the country. And as I've said, that I am sure wiper does not have offices all over the country, so. At far places where maybe Wiper is not there, I'm very sure they have some point men who might have picked delegates and paid them some allowances. Some would also love to come to Nairobi and uh, sit at Kasarani and uh, get some allowances and go back home. So this, this is what might have happened. And uh, because of Raila's popularity, some of the delegates are actually maybe Raila's supporters. That's why the reception was, you know, so much welcoming. Because when he came out, these delegates about are actually not wiper. Had to, to, to sing their hearts out. And Nabil was saying, uh, he, he saw the Wakambas. This was not a Kamba thing. This was Delegates taken from all over Kenya. As uh, as for Mudavadi, I think Mudavadi is sulking. Yeah, the reality has hit him, and uh, he has no way. He, he's a sinking ship, and I think he has no way out because in Oka, Mudavadi does not have the financial power to campaign. <laughs> All over the country. Even his party is not well represented across the country. You must have observed that um, the campaigns the Oka had had are actually in their strongholds, like in, in Eastern, Western, where, Ka, where Mudavadi is, Rift Valley, where Gideon is. They have not gone to other places. In, 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 uh, in, in Central, they went in on on invitation only they didn't make it on their own they have not gone to cost because maybe they don't have the good network gideon has gone to cost on his own but Oka as a team have not gone to cost that shows they don't have the network so mundavadi i think he realizes that he is not making it and it's just too bad for him and maybe he's too much ashamed to come back to Raila at the moment. He needs maybe central people to push him to come. On his own accord, maybe he's too ashamed. Unlike Kalonzo, who also have seen the reality and he sees that he's getting no nowhere unless he joins Raila. So that's what I observed. 
Uh, maybe I'll talk more as I hear more comments from other people. Thank you. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, let's have uh, the next person. Elisha, how are you? Fine. Good evening. I guess I'm the rest. Yeah, ulisikia leo tunaambiwa hakika tunaweza. And um, it is not funny, it is true, because the source of that comment, and it's a fact, is from a core principle, not from the horse's mouth. I'm happy that it was Kalonzo this time who finally declared that it was a kana. Thank you, I'm in, I'm just listening, and thank you also for the, 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 a few speakers have come in and been able to listen to what they have uh, said. I'm just here, I'm waiting. I will, I will do my comment. Let me continue listening first. Uh, let's have uh, Andrew. Andrew, you are on mute. Uh, sorry. Evening. A little bit tired just from my office. A busy day towards the weekend. And uh, I watched the speech. I watched the triumphant entry. It was giving the community as a whole a sign of things to come, of what is expected But you can't just assume what happened there with the community that was there or the delegates that were there. There's something at the back of their mind that they are also expecting. They are not just there as delegates, but they are there also as citizens. And the wave that is taking them to where it took them today it's what we expect to see in the future in this country. That oneness, not a tribe, but the oneness of Kenya. That's what I felt when I watched it. And if we can cross that red line of oneness, the only person that was odd one out was uh, our own. They call him Madividi, Mudamba. He was out of script. Because you cannot bring your personal feelings because of someone to a congregation that is there to focus on a different agenda. If you look at uh, why Mudavadi was like that, look at his history since Moi gave him vice president the 10 years he has served. It will tell you a bigger picture of where his political uh, growth has dwindled from. So he needs to go back on the drawing board and ask himself, is he right to behave the way he had? Is he right to create that an appreciated appearance as a leader. What does he expect from the community that is supposed to vote him? So me, I feel he was out of script, he was out of the mood, and it doesn't make sense to that meeting for him being there. He was invited, same as Raila was invited, same as Tuju, same as Gideon Moy, and they were there. They spoke out their mind. And the party leader of WIPA put it out in the open. So let's see how things unfold. But I don't think I'll be through two, three, two at the end of this uh, live. I might retire early. I'm going early to work again. Okay. And then uh, majority of the speakers, uh, 
Yes. Majority of the speakers who are telling Kalonzo you are a diplomat, use your diplomatic skills to bring these people together. He Do can, you think he will? He is capable. He he is capable. Okay. A person who coerces two leaders of a different faction, not even of his community, of a different country, to come together and steer a country to a certain level, there's nothing that can be enabled for him to do. In a diplomatic way, dialogue way, it's possible. That's why what I can say, if you see even body language of Kalonzo and Raila, different rallies. It's at par because there are things they talk which both of them are similar in terms of what their uh, their manifesto might come up and say. It looks similar. The goals that Kalonzo announced that is what he wants to achieve when he becomes a president. It's the same similar things that if you look at what Mr. Raila is talking about, there's a big similarity. So I feel like they have seen a level ground of being a person in a singular one, but they're bringing it back to the community so that the community can feel they need to move to from one level to another. The country needs to change to be one, not a division. Thank you. That's what I feel. Thank you for that substantive contribution. Let's have uh, Mukenya Imara. What do you think? Uh, you watched the, the whole show, or you have, uh, or at least you have watched news highlights. So. Thank you, Ekesa. Uh, it's been long. How are you doing? I'm good, Bwana. Uh, I've been uh, on a, a week long uh, retreat at uh, Naivasha, and so I have not adequately caught up, but I'm informed of what's going on. I came back to Nairobi today, mm -hmm. but again, unfortunately, my son just got admitted, so I go back to their house. And uh, because I love this show, I decided to loop in and and hear what people are saying. But again, let me give you one minute. Let me give you one minute commercial break. Just can I continue? How do you feel when you go to someone's home and you are received like that? <laughs> like you are the owner of the house. Yes. Rekesa. Rekesa, I could not help uh, think about that reception. One, let me comment about the NDC. Uh, I, I believe that uh, that reception was not planned. It was parodic and it was spontaneous. And we can uh, conclusively say that uh, that is the mood of the people and that is what people feel. Secondly, allow me to come in uh, and uh, let me say that uh, that reception that uh, Raila gets is something he has earned by his consistency and this kind of politics. And so he amazes people. And so I think that's why uh, that kind of reception was given to him. Allow me comment on uh, the other principles of Oka One. Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, calculations going on. For a long time, the president 
really pushed Akina Madu. Actually, I think Mudavadi being one of the senior contenders in uh, Oka to really make up their mind and back Raila. But I think Mudavadi was also having some offer from Uda and many other people, and so he was undecided. And uh, Mudavadi has of late and his people, yes, they have they have taken a trend of attacking Raila every now and then. And uh, my feeling is that uh, he's being he was being seriously being quoted to John Oda. And Kalonzo saw this as an opportune moment for him to tone down on his attacks on Raila and begin to build a coalition with him in the future. And I think uh, the president has given them a blessing on this. This is my speculation. I am hypothesizing. And looking at what's going on, it's a matter of time before Raila and Kalonzo unite again. Uh, allow me to say that uh, my DVD right now is between a rock and a hard place. Because one, the question is, if he joined ODA, what does he stand to gain? He cannot be the deputy president, and that would have been the most suitable position he can get. If you look at probably speak of the National Assembly and the Senate, those are positions that have been scrambled for. There are many other people in ODA who are capable of doing such kind of jobs should they get government. So I think uh, he has lost both ends. He has no space in order because what does he bargain for in order? And seems like Oka is a matter of time before it's folded. As you are aware, I hypothesize that Gideon Moe is just an insider there to give information to, to Baba and to Huru Kenyatta. But his heart is not in Oka. Gideon Moe will support Raila Odinga. Definitely. And so that technically leaves Oka with the two brothers, that is Musalia and Weta. And as you are aware, Weta has a football club. He has no ground and uh, doesn't really contribute much. And so that leaves Mudavadi at a very precarious position. position. Ignore the parks that they are still doing with Martha Karua. We know where Martha and his team are headed. And uh, I think my DVD has, uh, has wasted an opportune moment he had to make up his mind. And right now, he finds it very difficult on what he's going to stand on or how to reinvent himself. And so I think that is what annoys him, and that is what makes him make unnecessary attacks on Raila. But again, politics is dynamic, and things change as they go on. There's still a lot of changes that you are likely to see. But as things go, I don't think things are good with him. And I think that is what makes him a bit bitter. And uh, you look at the trends, I think he needs to get back to the drawing board and uh, not miss an opportunity again, because as it stands now, we don't know how it will go for him. So those are my comments. And uh, again, uh, politics keep changing. A day is a long time. So much could change in a day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think we have a bus and then we can do... Okay, Bas, and we have uh, Mukuru. How are you? Fine, fine. Uh, yes, Mukuru yes. came before Bas, so you can make your contribution. Mukuru, kindly mute your background so that uh, we can hear you. Are you looking for a place where everyone a moment. Your name? Well, maybe. Okay. Oh, let's, uh, let's have Buzz to fix your background. Yeah, let him continue first. Buzz, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, Wakesa. 
Yes, I think you are welcome. Today we were in NDC Kasarani. Yes. And uh, I've seen even the headline for Nation, yes. Nation saying that uh, Raila and Kalonzo warming up to each other. What Sorry? is your take? I've seen Nation headline says uh, Kalonzo and Raila warming up to each other. What is your take on what happened in... Uh, my take and, uh, on that is that uh, I don't think uh, I don't. I, I, I think uh, what happened today is what will follow in. Is having a network challenger. Ama ni bimi na potea. Kais, muna nisikia? Na muna musikia yeye? Uh, uh, Tumusiki, wekesa. He has a problem with the network. Huh? Wekesa, we can't hear you, man. Okay, bus, just fix your network and then uh, let's, uh, let's have uh, Mike. Mike, how are you? Mike, how are you? You are on mute, Mike. Mike, you are on mute. I'm um, good. Okay, sir. How are you, sir? Okay. We are good. Uh, we are... Uh, three, are, we, we are Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. You. We thank are regurgitating you. the NPC. Yeah, I might, uh, not have seen the, the 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 entire the entire the entire session. Hello, you can hear. Yeah, me. but let me give you a highlight of things you can point out on. Can you hear uh, me? Yes, let me give you a highlight of the things that happened. Maybe you didn't see one. Uh, Kalonso in his own speech. I was using okay. the. Hakika Tutaweza as his catchphrase. And then uh, my DVD after he, in, in his session, okay, the speech was not focused so much on what was happening. He talked about IBC as if he's worried about elections. Then uh, straight after leaving the session, he posted photos and he ensured that uh, Raila's photos are not featuring. <laughs> on his timeline. <laughs> okay, and then uh, for the for the others, I think they were calling for unity. Yeah, they are asking each other to have one person out of the group as their presidential candidate. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, just from what you've said, I will make very quick observations. Uh, the relationship between Raila and uh, Kalonzo is still cordial. And uh, these two gentlemen have had a history together. And a uh, kind one for that uh, matter. Uh, I, I don't remember a situation where they have uh, rubbed, uh, rubbed shoulders uh, uh, in a very extreme way to the extent that uh, they cannot see eye to eye. Uh, at the moment... Uh, all political party leaders are trying to solidify, consolidate their areas and uh, create a bargaining power on the national table. Uh, Kalonzo for some time has uh, kept his uh, base uh, nearly, not perfectly, but nearly intact. And uh, in a, in a, any indication of 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 of, of, of his base being uh, being uh, being encroached in has uh, been met with some resistance, even including from his own uh, friends. Um, you can see Governor Mutua, Governor Ngilu have tried to hive a piece of uh, his base, but uh, they have done it very cautiously. 
because uh, people still respect Kalonzo in his staff as their kingpin. Uh, him coming on the national table to declare what he declared is uh, only natural and uh, right as a party leader, because that is what uh, each party aspires to do. Uh, the presence of Raila and the invitation of Raila to such a forum is uh, is basically sending a message that uh, this is somebody I can work with. And uh, all the other partners also were included, of course. Uh, we had Kalonzo, we had, uh, we had uh, Mudavadi, we had Raila, we had uh, other party leaders, uh, uh, Gideons and the such. These people are basically saying we are people who can work together. We have certain things in common that uh, at certain point we shall uh, reach and uh, make sacrifices for the sake of the country. Well, already there is the Oka, which is a unity of purpose. Uh, but I know this one is going to graduate to a bigger, a bigger, a bigger house, uh, whose name and uh, and form we are yet to see. Now, on the side of Davadi, if I was to ask you what is the base, political base of uh, Mudavadi, how many MPs, how many senators are in parliament courtesy of uh, of his party and the influence? Uh, his uh, all his uh, elected leaders are in ANC, but their allegiance in other places. Uh, I, I, I'm not very sure whether Malala is a hundred percent in ANC. I'm not uh, very sure there are other all other people who are uh, on uh, on uh, on uh, on ANC ticket, courtesy of ANC ticket in Parliament or MCA are fully behind ANC as a party. It is just a good party to you. There is not a party that they have really had uh, that loyalty to. Uh, people are either in ODM or UDA or Jubilee. But uh, ANC is just a special purpose vehicle for them to get where they want to go. So Mudavadi as a person is really struggling to create his base and he has to do certain things, uh, some radical, some uh, very abrasive to show that he also has a space and has a place in the in the national table. Uh, you can look at the character and the demeanor of Raila. He never struggles for space and attention. Everywhere he goes, he knows he has a base and uh, he doesn't need to prove something or say something Has dropped off. Okay, today people are having challenges with network. Let's have Kuna mtu nilikuwa ni meruka, siji kama wamejipanga. Mukuru. Mukuru. Hello, and he decided. Amejita and he decided Mukuru, how are you? I'm very fine, fine, fine. Uh, you are and you decided on what? <laughs> okay, okay uh, on all the presidential <laughs> candidates. Oh, see you, boy. I see you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, 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 give us your opinion on NDC of. Uh, of uh, wipe and then uh, the body language of a few principles, yeah. Uh, the NDC for wipe, uh, party was successful, yeah. Uh, it shows that Kalonso is still the one to talk in Kambani, and then. Uh, it shows that the wiper party is somehow strong in Kenya. At least it can say Mahali. It can even take a quarter of the uh, electoral voters in Kenya. 
and then uh, on the issue of uh, body language uh, me i can say that uh, raila is struggling to seek attention why always is being invited in ndc you saw him in the gideon ndc today he was in kalonso the wiper party ndc so raila is still struggling to seek attention like today uh, he aliaribia kalonso kalonso alionekana is he can't even control the mood swing of the party members the party royalty so uh, raila took somebody's show today uh, despite the fact that uh, alimalizia kwa speech akisema wamefanya kazi na kalonzo for long and then uh, they will they they, they the hizo barabara zao zitapatana baadaye lakini he took kalonzo's wedding cake today and he should not have done that so, what did mfuku, he do wrong because he did not invite himself so what did he do wrong he should okay. not have received the excitement somebody was to imagine that uh, he imported watu wake kuja kwa the ndc so that wamshangilie and this is doesn't have get crashers it is planned by party bana this is not like a rally where anybody can come and this are people planned that we know 75 delegates are coming from uh kitui 30 are coming from that it's planned because you are going to endorse a presidential candidate if they come people get crashers they can change their mind so we see part of the planning committee wakasa <laughs> in this Kenya everything is possible anything is possible you can do anything as long as it goes in your way you can do it so how how can you verify that this is a a wiper party member apo apo medanganya a good scenario ulisikia vile song alisema medanganya boss boss tu apo medanganya this is an ndc this is not a rally and let's be factual You know what an NDC calls because from there these documents are going to the registrar of political party my friend you don't do something suliona ya ya fort kenya they are still even having issues to approve the delegates so you don't just come up with people a good and example this is a something that uh, needs to be verifiable my friend a good example kind of give us me... right information we are on a uh, it's not a national tv but uh, a public channel <laughs> but eh uh, raila took somebody's cake today so if if kalonzo can work with raila eh uh, i don't see a big deal still the the ukambani Okay the Ukambani the Ukambani region is still uh, intact for if we can manage to work with uh, Kalonzo work with Mtua Ngilu and then Kivuta Kibwana uh, it can be guaranteed of the Ukambani region but there was something fishy today which happened um, Davadi was not welcoming to Baba uh, I don't know It seems that Mdavadi is keen and Mdavadi is being used by some forces outside forces uh, to lock Baba out of the western region voting block and he may succeed if you have been keen on uh, Malala's uh, statements It seems that these people are on a, a plan to get get right away from the western uh, region. So that is my submission. So the language of Mdavadi, Mdavadi and Wetangula they are not willing to accept baba back.
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, getting Raila out uh, outside Western is a tall order because you can only get somebody outside when you own that region. If they themselves have not owned Western, it's hard for them to lock him up. And that's why when today Malala says that we are blocking Raila to come in Kagameka and when he comes, he goes even into the home of Mudavati Sabati and he has a rally because if you don't, you yourself own the region. The way Ruto owns Rift Valley and they, when he goes there, they can even transnight waiting for him. It's hard for you to lock somebody out of the region you don't own. But uh, I guess, uh, have, yes. I guess uh, the, a voter in twenty in two zero zero seven can change her mind in twenty thirteen. That voter in twenty thirteen can change her mind in twenty seventeen, and then twenty 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 two still can change her mind. So maybe who knows? Some ground. That's why I'm saying. Me, I'm based on what is happening now, and not even I'm not using statistics. I'm just saying. And I've given you an example of what happened last week. I'm not even given you 2013 or 2017 statistics. I've just told you last week when uh, Nani Malala was talking about how he protects Kakameka. And then Baba goes there and goes even up to Mdavadi's village and they receive him warmly. The same way we can say that uh, Raila works in the Kalonzos in DC and they don't have a problem with him. So somebody who has already been in the hearts of Kenyans, for you to remove them, then you have to do something extraordinary. At least somebody like Ruto, I can believe when he, I say he can take a sizable voters away from Raila, because there's a way Ruto appeals to the voters. But these other guys, they are not even consolidating their regions. So taking away uh, a sizable number of voters from Baba, it's a tall order. And that's why they were worried even when Baba, they heard that Baba is coming from to the NDC because they know they can as, they assemble a crowd and Baba steals the show of the crowd they assembled. So that's, these are the voters we are talking about. These were not... I Did you see what happened in Kasarana? That's why even you are, you are thinking like uh, Baba participated in ferrying the delegates. How do you vary delegates of a different party? It doesn't work. In the same okay, scenario I'm trying to tell yes. you, did you hear what Sonko said during the 2013 and 2017 elections? They used to give people ODM t-shirts. How do you verify that? And then they ban vehicles. Those then are how rallies. You... rallies. And that's why I'm telling you, rallies. I was agreeing with you. In rallies, you can do anything. But delegates, you choose who attends the delegate conference. And again, this delegate was not organized nationally. The way maybe uh, who is organizing for Lemuru 3 and saying, I need people from every part of Kikuyu to come. This is WIPA alone organizing for delegates. The challenge then, maybe you can say the challenge could be why but may not have delegates in every region. So they had to get a new delegates. They register and then they come. But those delegates have not been subscribing to their ideology. That one can be understandable. But saying that Baba participated, it doesn't make sense. Can we have... Uh, Just give another person to contribute. Joe. Joe number two. Kuna Joe number two. Kuna Joe. Joe cool. So, so which Joe? Which Joe? Then the other Joe song, okay? The cool one. Yeah, Mejiandika Joe Cool. <laughs> oh, Joe Cool. Okay, fine. Okay, name second. You are on, you are on mute, Joe, Joe Cool. See you, Gamma Man Pata. 
Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, Joan, before Jokul comes in, what is your take on uh, what Mukuru is saying about delegates? Is it possible for somebody from a different party to ferry delegates of a different party? Is it practical? Uh Yeah, no, no, not at all, because like I said in my first uh, uh, submission, these delegates are picked from the grassroots. And uh, they, they, they are picked with uh, the, the appointment at that grassroots. So actually, it's this is not a public thing that anybody comes in, no. They're actually members of that party. The only way you can get outsiders is where the party is weak, but since they want to cover the whole country and they have some appointment, those appointments will go and pick enough delegates from that place, that region, and bring them to Nairobi as delegates from that region, let's say like Turkana. Maybe they have the appointment in Turkana. But as they come in, they are going to come in as uh, delegates of WIPA. There's nobody that will come in from at the Mutria NC. I'm a, the NC is just those officials and by what we invited to attend. Otherwise, delegates are just delegates. Uh, I don't agree with what this guy is saying. Uh, maybe he was not aware, but now he knows. Uh, I'll give my com my comments. I've heard quite a lot. But what a kwanza wiyo jokula aendele alafu kuangalia. Okay, Joe, you may fix your mic. Yes, I'm um, changing the phone now. Yes, you can uh, proceed to uh, give your contribution. Good evening, everybody. Yes, yes, I have. Yes, I'm. Um, Is something about your mic kuna echoes? I don't know. Yeah, we, we, we can't hear him properly. The guy is not audible. Yeah, his mic has echoes and is not audible. Kindly, Joe, fix your mic before you come in. I'll give you another chance. Uh, so, so, and then uh, Raila decided to come with uh, Angilu. Is it is it is it good manners when you're invited? You come with friends <laughs> in a in a in a in a party where there are invites only. <laughs> Uh, maybe if, if I can comment on that, eh? Gilu and Raila have been closed for a long, long time, since time memorial. And actually, if you see what is happening in Eastern, normally, if Kalonzo goes that side, Gilu comes in. Even last time, Gilu won the governorship because she was uh, the chief campaigner in Eastern for NASA. That is a, uh, a position that he was given by Raila himself. So Ngilu has always been close to Raila. And that's why I think even uh, Kalonzo Naona, he mambo akichelewa, Ngilu will step in, and I think Ngilu can step in very effectively. Given that the, the, the other governors like uh, Kibuda Kibuana and uh, Alfred Mutua, are already leaning towards Raila. So Kalonzo stands a lot to lose. So he, he needs to play game, actually. Yeah, who, who, the, the, the guy I pity is uh, Mudavadi. Because, uh, and you know, Mudavadi on his own he has never been a politician, he has never made the right decisions at the right time. This guy was was given a, an MP after his father's death at the age of 24. So he has never been out there doing his own things like the rest of these other guys. Eh? Like, you know, like Naruto, like Nangilu, like Musioka. They've really fought themselves to build themselves up, up to where they've come. But 
Mudavadi has never. He has never. The last time he was appointed the, the vice president, it was not through the ballot or anything or popularity. He was just appointed by 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 Moy because Moy wanted to survive. And when he went down, he has never come back on his own. He has never fought hard to come back on his own. Every time Raila has picked him up, watched him with Omo Nakamleta on the table. So this guy has never fought on his own. And uh, if he thinks he's going to try it on his own, I'm very sorry, it won't work for him. It won't work for him at all. So he better maybe... Uh, he should not feel ashamed of joining. Politics, no, if you are a politician, you should not be ashamed of anything. I've seen a lot of politicians, like even Malala, could be even the first person to defect to Raila. And Raila is always, always forgiving. So this guy should not waste his time. Atabaki Pekiake, because Gideon, Gideon is already on Raila's side. Alonso is now coming on Raila's side. Wetangula has not been all that radical. Eh? He can move very side. So, in the long run, Budavadi Atabaki Pekeake. Atabaki Pekeake, Kamsa. So, you should be very, very careful. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Okay, uh, let's. I don't know what's happening with the uh, mic here. Cool. Nikki Mweka on. There's a lot of mamas and a noise. Douglas Brown, how are you? Ducky Abeportea. Okay. So only peop a few people have a stable network. Inawasumbua kama ya kalonzo, unajue ilikuwa inasumbua sana. Mbaka tuna loose live stream. Tulikuwa tuna loose sound. <laughs> you had a question, Elisha? Ama a comment? Thanks. Uh, now, you know, it's funny. Sometimes when um, we try to talk about what is happening between the, the former NASA principles, actually. Um, talking about uh, what is happening between Mudavadi ideologically and Raila, and uh, those actually of the principles who support Raila. Today, I have seen how Kalonso has been working with M M Raila. But uh, cleverly, not exposing his relationship to his counterparts in Oka. Raila and Kalonso have worked for a while together. And if you are very keen today, you would have seen Kalonso. In fact, Kalonso was very happy. Immediately he noticed or he saw and I want to believe even before uh, Kalonso came into the pod, into the arena, into, into the podium, into the hall, he first was waiting for his official guest to arrive. That is Raila Odinga. And, and from his facial expression and the way he expressed himself to his uh, delegates, wiper delegates, you, you could clearly see that Kalonso was happy that finally uh, he, the presence of Raila in, into this meeting today was speaking louder on behalf of K Kalonso himself. He did not want to tell Oka Prince, his counterparts, his, his, his colleagues in Oka, that I am working with Raila and we want to achieve something. It was evident today. It was clear today that these people have wanted to work together all throughout until such a time when they will be able to achieve that common goal, what they have always wanted to achieve. So I would, I would, I would clearly say that I'm sure Kalonso will still work with Raila. And at some point, Raila mentioned and said, even after, before Kalonso said Itawezekana, 
while i said at some point kule mbele tutafa, tutaungana barabara zetu zitakuja zishikana that is a clear indicator that we are soon going to get a stronger coalition that will actually be able to clinch the presidency of this great nation of Kenya. So I can't dispute that working together between Raila and, uh, and, and Kalonzo. And not only those, these two principles. Having worked together for so, so long, years back, I cannot envy Raila if, if I, I was Mudavadi. Raila has worked, has earned Kenya's Kenyans respect and trust through all these years because of what he has gone through his history, what he's able to do for Kenyans, how much he's able to sacrifice. And 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 you look at you look at the way he's doing his politics, you can't compare it even to any other person in Kenya. You look at what happened. Uh, in 2017 and 2013 we are we we are clearly told that Raila won the elections and everybody would want to see this guy on top of the seat so in this in the in this scenario you look at mdavadi looks like akona wivu akona uchungu how comes to liko principles but this guy is being is being given an, an upper hand upper hand politically in Kenya. Lazima uvune kilo ulipanda. Akaranga, I can, I, can, I can go back to a few years back when Mudavad was, was kicked out of politics by the former governor of Vihiga County, Akaran. He was out of politics for a while. Who brought him back, actually? Just like my friend Joe has said, Raila went and took him out of the dustbins and washed him. Brush na omu. Haka msugua mpaka na mao. Haka anza kungara. That is why you saw the Madawad in 2017. Haki declare kwamba ni right honorable engineer Raila Molo Dinga. And this is a game that Kalonso knows very well. There's a time that Kalonso alipati kidogo wakaingia upanda wakibaki and they formed government. This was a beating on Kalonzo politically. For a while, he stayed in the darkness politically. Na meka koyo baridi na ile giza for a while. And he knows whenever you try it, as long as Raila is still in this political game. Ukijaribu kucheza na Raila, Raila has the masses. He has, he has, he has, you know, we can say people who believe in him. I may earn, I may find a kazi. Akona historia. Sasa uki, ukienda against, ama ukipigana nae. Sasa mudava duki muangalia vizuri. Anavo kaa na kubihevu. Unikana kuamba. I just don't want to join this guy again. I know I'm done. Because he's alone, actually. Mudavadi right now is only working with Malala kwa, kwa kinyo. Lakini hawafanyi kazi pamoja. Malala is on the other side. He's, he's actually speaking for someone else. He's not with Mudavadi. Immediately, Mudavadi is kicked out of the political arena. Malala is looking for a ground. He, wa he knows what he's looking for. He's not fighting for Mudavadi at all. So it is very clear that uh, the way we saw the love in that, in that plenary, in that hall, that wiper delegates were so much uh, pleased and they were overjoyed. They even danced. They were very happy. They knew this is a seal on our, our deal today. In fact, without Raila, today at Kasarani, I don't think, I, don't, I want to believe that 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 meeting would not be that successful at, as it has been today. I want to talk about something that is in relation to Azimio Laomoja. Kalonso knows very well, for a while, the president has been trying to talk to them to mm -hmm. agree with Raila 
the, all these principles are supposed to come together, put their heads together, work together for the common good, for the good of the country. And in that direction, there are principles among, there are other principles like Mangidi, Gideon Moy and Kalonso. And even to some point, Wetangula, but they would not want to show it publicly, but they know very well. If the president has decided that I'm going to support Raila this time, it means this guy, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, felt the weight back in 2017. The way it was not possible to manage this country without the other half of Kenya, which voted overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly for Raila Odinga. So they are playing their cards knowing at some point in future we are going to link up, we are going to work together to achieve what the Azmio Laomoja concept is all about. So they are here. Okay. What, 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 what was the uh, presence of Tuju uh, sending? Uh, what message was Sid sending to us? You, you you look at the presence of the SG Jubilee Party in 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 the in the plenary hall. You find Raila inside, even though Huru was at um, uh, he was at uh, he was uh, away for maybe an official duty. But you you can clearly see that this is a game that is real. It is the president in this case present in that hall. It is Jubilee Party actually in present in that hall to affirm and confirm that they are going to work together, Raila, Jubilee, and this other Gideon Moy and that is Kanu and Wiper Party. They are going to work together. And as mentioned before, you can see there are amongst the Oka principles, Mudavadi and uh, say Wetangula could have known, but they were not aware that these two were going to attend, Raila and Hood. So the presence of Tuju confirms that the president is right behind this organization. Once the, 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 the two other uh, principles were not ready to. To, to, to follow what the president was advising advising them to do. I think the, 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 the current strategy is actually, you go back, uh, Raila consolidate your background, uh, Kalonso consolidate, consolidate your, your votes from the ground, these others, you come up with the National Dele Delegates Conference, confirm that you are interested in the presidency. And then to, tomorrow, you, you guys come together work together to achieve one common goal. It is actually a confirmation that the president is right behind right honorable, right loudly. I, 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 want, I, want, I want to add and also say that uh, there could be another hand working against Mudavadi working with these other principles to achieve that as Miola or Moja concept. But we are yet to discover that. But you can clearly see there is someone pushing Mudavadi outside that that agenda, that, that coalition. Uh, do you concept. think his message is resonating with the other the other people? Because the other people are having a, they are having a problem with uh, the committee that is sitting to plan for election. And then Mudavadi's message was about IEBC. Don't you think he's playing, <laughs> he's resonating with another team in terms of message? That is why I say initially, there is a string being pulled towards a different direction. There are two factions which will also at some point work together and these are empty promises. Mudavadi is being lied to by someone from Uda. An ally of Mudavadi, that is Malala, has been seen severally advocating for Ruto that if these other Oka principles are not going to work together with, with Mudavadi, and maybe they are pushing for Mudavadi to be the kingpin so that he, he will now have 
a base, people will trust him. He doesn't have the votes, even in Western, even in Vihiga. So it means that someone is pulling a string from a different direction. They are coming up, they don't want, UDA doesn't want to be seen as the only party that is against Martha Kaome's idea of coming up with a committee on elections. They also want a partner. That is why they are, they are pushing someone else. That is Mudavadi and his team. And you see, that, that is going to tear them apart, further apart. But we, I can say, Raila has earned my, my trust and my faith. He is a true patriot. We who believe in him. I don't think if you can actually sway my, my, my belief and, and the way I trust that he's going to deliver, you cannot change that. I am among so many other Kenyans who believe that the right way to go is the, 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 Raila, the Raila way. So there is no way, even if they at some point will jump ship and get to into, into the UDA umbrella, they're not going to move with so much masses. They don't have those numbers actually to entangle this big ship, the Azimio Laumoja big ship. In fact, one will argue that uh, he's not going with masses, but he's following his masses that have already gone. Because he has of lost all, majority of his people, the few he had, he has lost it to UDA. Including it all is like a, <laughs> it is actually like a, 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 a national flagpole that is following the wind blowing to us at, at a certain direction. So it will not stand strong to be seen by those who worship the flag. It will fall with the flag. It is not strong. Mudabadi is following, is actually following Raila indirectly. At the same time, Amekanyaga Wapi. Cool. Is your mic okay? Yes. I think it's okay now. Yeah, contribute before you are disappointed by network. <laughs> Wait, because I'm, I'm, I'm covered it now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. Good evening, everyone. Oh, Boos, you are back also. Let's have cool, then we come to you, Boos. Yes, I am back, Wekesa. Yeah, thank yes, you. Man, so, Wekesa. Yeah. Thank you for the invite. Eh? I want Wait, to... Uh, this is uh, cool. Eh? Cool. Yeah, proceed. Yes. yes, now, let me also... Um, let me also talk about this issue of uh, Musadi Amdavid. Uh, what is happening is that uh, Musalia Mudavadi thinks that uh, he is the one that is suitable and the best place to succeed Uhuru Kenyatta, which is uh, to some of us uh, see it as uh, a dream eh? if that cannot. You know, sometimes we say some dreams are valid, some, some dreams are not. So this is one of the dreams that can never materialize. Because for one to be Let's assume now that Musari uh, Mudavadi is uh, endorsed or whoever uh, Oka endorses him as a presidential uh, flag bearer. Do you think he's able to control the western part of the country? I doubt. You hear it? I totally doubt. And uh, going by what I've seen today, from uh, Musalia Mudavadi, I've seen a guilt, you know, like a guilted lover, a man who is uh, not, uh, you know, he was not happy. Let me say uh, from the invite, eh, I don't think uh, Mudavadi wanted uh, Raila to appear in the NDC. And uh, also, let me not forget to thank those, the organizers of the WIPA delegates conference. I think it was, it was, well, it was well attended. Uh, I will say that uh, Kalonzo, of course, uh, uh, from what, from the look of things, confirmed that uh, he's also headed to the direction of uh, Azimio La Umoja. That is my view. And uh, for Mfali Amudavadi, I doubt. 
Musali ya Mudavadi yes i am sure Musali ya Mudavadi cannot face the, the president eh, as uh, and also pose his wish but this time round uh, i see him being forced by his uh, the so called malala because when you look at the ANC itself eh it's already divided into two there's a faction that is headed by uh, uh, Ayub Savula there's another one that is headed by uh, by uh, by malala Of course the one for Ayub Savula is also I uh, started rooting for Raila Odinga uh, presidency they are saying you be the better of course from uh, that is from uh, Wandani of course I speak to guys from there and uh, I see the team headed by Ayub Savula maybe may not have that uh, what it takes to convince Mzali Mudavadi basing on what uh, he stands for because i know if you go by what he did in 2013 we see a replica of the same where boni halwale solely was able to control him and ensured that mzadawadi does not uh, does not actually support the lodinga but remember look at how many votes stood in between the uh, the president and uh, Raila Odinga uh, for a runoff of course that of course uh, we assuming that Mr. Mudavadi supported Raila Odinga of course uh, would have uh, had something uh, out of it uh, Raila Odinga for the first time I'll say this is his chance unless he throws it away and uh, some of us who have been supporting Raila Odinga from the western part of the country believe that uh, for even guys like Musali Mudavadi i don't think uh, Musali Mudavadi can uh, in, okay assuming in the absence of Musali uh, absence of Raila Odinga who would actually step in and uh, be regarded as a western uh, leader western region leader even the lowest would actually think of uh, supporting this man Musali Mudavadi would have fitted in but from the behavior that is is portraying eh, i don't think anyone would even imagine or even uh, think of uh, associating with him uh, wa- one would point. say that uh, like even Ruto played it well such that he was able when he worked with Uhuru to endear himself to the supporters of uh, Uhuru such that he was able to take the constituency when Uhuru leaves but now these guys who have been working with Raila they have not been endearing themselves to the supporters of Raila but i think this was the right time for Kina Mudavadi and uh, Kalonzo to be going to Nyanza and courting those supporters such that if Raila finishes his term the masses will be endeared to them but they are playing but, yeah. uh, that long distance po- ball <laughs> so let me tell you something bwana wekesa uh, among the leaders you see in this country today and uh, let me say it uh, clearly that we, we will never have another odinga raila the raila we, we have the current raila we have we may never have another one because uh, going by what we are seeing and the current crop of leaders that we are having aggressive and uh, i would just say raila is an institution raila is a mobilizer raila to me i see him as uh, you know i can't compare him to the current uh, crop of pol- politicians because uh, when the time when we thought that Raila Odinga had been uh, boxed into a corner and he could not actually uh, uh, come up again look at what he has come up with look at uh, the following uh, and when you look at uh, Raila Odinga's uh, crowd eh? you know we are talking about uh, you know we are talking about the real crowd not coerced into you know this uh, we are talking about indigenous the we are talking about uh, crowds that uh, come just because of the love of oh. Raila Odinga that is what we're talking about and uh, when you look at uh, the likes of uh, mm-hmm. uh, let's take for instance uh, 
Friday is attended by Uda. You will see people in, uh, in uh, let me say, uh, in uh, yellow and uh, green, you know, colors that are associated with the party. But in uh, Raila's rallies, naongea kuhusu sasa ile umati wa ukweli people coming to pour their love you know to show their love for Raila Odinga and uh, we saw it in uh, we saw we saw it the other day in uh, Kapenguria uh, that is uh, is it Kapenguria where where we had uh, the governor of yeah Kup- Kapenguria Mapotano Kapenguria Look at what happened in uh, when Raila visited uh, before, of course, you saw it in Wakambani. It's something that uh, Kalonzo can't do in uh, Western Kenya or, you know, call it Oka. And uh, let me tell you something. Oka minus uh, Midian Moi, of course, uh, support. No one, none of these guys can find can find, uh, can actually uh, come up with a rally. Because it's Gideon Moy who is literally funding this day. So without Gideon Moy, then Oka is finished. And uh, what from the look of things, of course, Gideon Moy is headed to, Gideon Moy cannot go against the wishes of the president. Gideon Moy is going to support Raila Odinga. And also Mshoka is going to support Raila Odinga. We're Tangula. That one, I doubt. That one might actually follow his uh, foot soldiers who are already with uh, the DP. Of course, you've seen uh, the guy who was elected the other day joined the DP. You've seen Chris Wamalwa drumming support for the DP at some point, uh, saying in Kiluya that uh, he's a neighbor, we can do this and this, we can support him because we know he's uh, so close to us and referring to Rail Odinga as someone who is a bit far, you know, and from the lake side, you, you see that. So, by going by those statements, I see we're Tangula, and also when you look at the party, the Ford Kenya party, of course you've seen uh, the faction that is uh, fighting him is already uh, working with Rail Odinga. So that might come into play, especially when it comes to uh, the issue of who do we support. So Wetangula may go, but minus the party. The party will now be with the, the likes of Kinawangamati. So the party may end up supporting Raila Odinga. That's what I'm seeing. But uh, in, in Western Kenya, I see Raila Odinga getting something to do with 65 and above. But you also a uh, rule of the thumb. Uh, when I look at, you know, a Tangul Lapia mm-hmm. is someone who will be more interested to work with government than opposition. You know, he doesn't have mm-hmm. financial muscles. Uh, you see, the, 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 the part that is fighting does not determine so much. Uh, look at uh, what uh, happened to Waikuru and uh, and uh, the other one, and Aiton and Grish. Yes. Yes. They have decided to square from one side. So sometimes even you can decide to square with your enemy from the same point than you expose yourself. Especially if you go to the side and you think, I'm not sure if it's going to form government, then you are giving your opponent actually the muscle that in any case <laughs> the other side forms government that has yes. the possibility maybe of forming government you will be a junior uh, to that side. So to neutralize that, you can decide to go on one side, all of you. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I see that possibility too. But, yeah, because uh, I've, I've been seeing uh, the, the language of Kinawangamati, they are still wants to work with government. And uh, yes. now also, uh, Nani, that's why he doesn't want to expose himself so much. But Angula knows yes. that if he declares openly today that he's working with Ruto, he yeah. has the problem. Yeah, that's uh, that's why he's playing in between there. Yeah. Yes, I agree with you. But now you have come up with an issue of uh, the governor for Kirinyaga. Yes. 
That's also no. uh, it's. Uh, I think we should. Uh, we can discuss. We can have a point on that as well. Do you think these people will square it out in uh, Uda, or one may bolt out? I'll give you time on that. Let, let's have a boost first uh, on the topic, right, and then we can uh, add that. Boost, how are you? We're yes, 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 yes. Who had that question? Hello? Kuna mtu anasema alikuwa na swali? No, we can say alikuwa na sema. Nimeengoja sana kusema mambo yangu sijasema. Wewe ni nani? Nabi, eh? Nabi, you didn't contribute? Uh, that was just an opening remark. The issues... Yeah, everybody is having you know. their opening remark. Nobody is doing the second round. These guys have just come. <laughs> you know, the, the challenge sometimes here in this forum, we have people, they come, make contribution, then drop off, we have another one. Actually, this one, like Boos has not met his contribution. He had a challenge with network, he dropped off. So let him make his initial contribution. Then uh, we can do the second round. I think uh, the initial contributions. Okay, well, have you met yours? So it is a bus oh, and then a bus. Uh, okay, well, and then we can do a second round. Thank, thank you for that clarification, Wakesa. I think uh, for the topic of today, I think it is a fix for Kalonzo Musioka to be enticed into working with Raila Odinga again. The, the statement he has made prior, including saying I will be a mad person to support somebody for a bad time. Now, we are yet to see who the mad person will be, whether it will be Kalonzo, who, who, is, who pronounced those words just this, this same year. And uh, even if Kalonzo supports uh, Raila Odinga, I, I don't see Mutua, Ngilu, and uh, Mutua and Kivuda Kibwana st sticking to that line because what do they become? Because I believe there is a, a saying that politics is interest. What will Mutua become with Kalonzo inside, what will what will Kibuda become with Kalonzo on the same side? I think uh, it will be much better for the younger Mutua to either join the third force, which I still strongly believe there will be a third force, and fetch a name for himself, whichever way, whether Kalonzo and Raila Odinga will form government, or they will not form government until at least he'll create his own constituency. I see Kivuda Kibwana. Kivuda Kibwana might stick due to his age and uh, his own kind of politics, though he still doesn't have the same kind of politics with uh, Raila Odinga. He is a little bit uh, conservative. And I think uh, today's NDC at Waipa is just a repeat of what happened at Kano, what is likely to happen at Jubilee, what is likely to happen at uh, ODM when it comes. The same guys will be flocking each other's NDC, repeating the same words, the same concept. They have been working together anyway for almost eight years let's say with the addition of Gideon Moy and now the backing of the president. So the, the, actually with them coming together to face <laughs> one guy <laughs> just shows the magnitude of the guy they're, they're facing. They, 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 they all, it's the, the, no one is willing to face him one-on-one. -on -one. The guy is too big now to be faced by one person. They have to come together or perish together. That is the message they are saying. Tujo is saying, Akisema ni huyu, sote tutalala huko. What he is not saying, Tusipo lala huko sote, sote tutalala inje sote. That is the statement that they are not saying. 
they have to be together or they perish together. I think for Kenya, we are in a is very interesting... Is that a problem? Place. Let me ask you. Is that a problem? Uh, when uh, 2002, the guys came together, actually the whole liberation group came together. They were not facing a monster. They were just facing a young hood who had never won even a, a, an MP seat. But it, they had to unite together. Uh, they Liber LDP did not say let's go alone because we're just facing a young guy. Let's go and face him. Maybe we'll defeat him. They had to unite they, all of them. So they it's that not facing Wakesa, you will be it will be naive to think they were facing Uhuru, the young Uhuru by then. They were facing Moi. The slogan was Yote Yawezekana Bila Moi, not Yawezekana Bila Uhuru. So what is the I difference think, between Moi and Uhuru? Uhuru is in power and Moi was in power. Moi was to continue ruling through Uhuru Kenyatta. See, I'm so saying all right now Uhuru can continue ruling through another person. Why do they have to form it? In fact, Uhuru should have said that I just need maybe uh, Raila or what, and then I make him president. Why do they have to come all of them together? Because that is not the question you're answering. Because Moy did not look for uh, people to unite against opposition. He just picked Uhuru. Well, I think well, Moi, you need to be analytical in what you are saying. Moi picking Uhuru was his own choice. For his yeah, own so why do you think he only he thought Uhuru alone could win? And uh, why do you think uh, 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 Uhuru thinks Raila alone cannot win? I think with what we have been reading, we may not be there in their meetings or what they discuss, but with what has been coming out is that uh, we have read Uhuru saying that, uh, telling them that they have to unite to face the DP. Else, if they don't unite, they are going to be defeated. That is the same message that, that is the same unsaid message by Tuju. He spoke in the reverse saying to Talala Pandemoja Sote Akiwa Ni Uyo. Nobody think he can't... All, all campaign messages are never true. It's the same way DP is saying Raila Di Muganga. If you verify that, it's not, he is not Muganga. So all campaign messages are never true. It is just to appeal. It's for appealing the, the masses. <laughs> it is how you package it. The same way Uhuru was campaigning and said Young Kumi na Yaruto Ni Kumi. He never meant okay. it. Wekesa, there is a message to the multitudes and there is a message to the delegates. The message is always It doesn't different. matter. Campaign messages are the same. They are never honored. The message, the message to the delegates will always be different and it will be measured to the delegates. The message to the multitudes is a message to the multitudes and it will include rhetorics. Very rarely will you hear rhetorics in the delegates meeting. It is always very structured. Like for real, you are you are the you, same you, guy who has example, said that to Kalonso to, the way he told the, his people. Do you remember the NDC Kalonso held before he packed Raila for being president? Correct. What did he say? And then for what example, did he turn out example, to become? For example, Wekesa, you will not hear somebody move into a delegates meeting and utter slogans like you will not hear Raila say Tibim. To a wiper delegates, but he will say that to the but multitude. He said today. There is a reason he for that. Today. He yeah? said today, but he said I today. Did not I did not okay, follow I'll up very much. The clip. I'll play for you the clip. Yes, I did not hear that today. Anyway, then going to Musalia, I think uh, that is the nature of Musalia Mudavad, but uh, I think he will still join the same bad wagon. I don't see Musalia going against. He has much, very much together with Uhuru Kenyatta, very much together with Gideon Moy. They have been together for a very, very long time in Kanu. He has known Gideon Moy maybe through the father when they were in Kanu. They seem to be in the same kind of age bracket. So these are guys who have been together. And I believe they, he will still move into the side of Raila Odinga with, with or without any promise. But uh, getting out of the entire scenario of... Uh, the NDC and uh, 
the declarations there too. I think uh, it is a very interesting time for the country and uh, it's a good time to be in the knowledge of the politics of Kenya today because I think this is the best election we are going to have. And I just pray to God, whichever way it goes, it does not go like the 2013 and 2017. What we need, we don't need Azimio la Moja. Azimio la Moja is what will kill democracy. What we need is a strong government and a strong opposition. A government is as good as the opposition. Whether it is Ruto who will be in opposition or Raila who will be in opposition. May he be granted the power to maybe control parliament. I wish we will have a scenario where parliament is on one side and government is on one side. We will have a very good government that will serve Kenyans. That is my remark for today, Kesa. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Kesa. Hello. Kesa. Yes. I wanted to say the, the guys... Are we still together? You have a question? Elisha, like, you have Hello. a question? I have, yes. I have a question. Hello. Yeah, okay. Bus, 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 wait. There's a few questions that yes. are coming yes. on your way. Okay, sir. I want... I yeah, want just to... wait. There are some questions coming on your way. Yes, on the same point, on the same... My brother has talked about something, eh? I want to clarify something. You know, this is not... Uh, the NDC today is actually a political... It's a political session. It is something that is directly linked to politics. You see, when you understand what politics is, it's actually a, a, vari a, var a variety of activities between individuals who agree on a certain political idea and would actually tilt towards the same direction. And these this, this, this people could be delegates, they could be leaders, they could be the multitudes we are talking about, as my brother has just put it. So as, as, as I want to put it clear that as we are talking about this NDC meetings and all that, when leaders come together, they want to agree on something. An, an, an ideology like Azimio Laomoja, we cannot just rubbish it because it is an idea that certain individuals in the political realm to plus the multitudes, we as Kenyans, plus the systems maybe of government, plus parties would want to agree on that one idea so that they can be able to win an election. It should be very clear. Yeah, but even so Elisha, hold, Elisha, hold on. Elisha, hold on. Just in one minute, uh, Yes. Look at Oka, they are saying One Kenya Alliance. When you listen to Ruto's yes. message himself, he says that I don't want tribal parties, I want to bring Kenyans together through one party. The yes. methods are different, but they all of them are speaking about oneness. So I don't know what? where he's coming from. Everybody believes. So Raila believes that all parties can exist, but we can come together and co-work. We don't have to kill yes. democracy. Uh, democratic parties, but we can co-work uh, in different parties. Ruto believes for us to work, we have must dissolve our parties and come together as a homogeneous society. So all of them are talking about yeah. unity, but in different languages. So when you tell us uh, Azimio Lamoja kills democracy, in fact, when you destroy multi-party, you are killing democracy. Killing that democracy. Yes. Okay, someone was uh, Nabuire. How are you? Yeah, okay. Actually, it was me, Makesa. What yes. I wanted to say is what you have actually emphasized that uh, Azimio Laumoja is different from one party. This is what this guy should understand. One party is what Ruto is calling for. But Azimio Laumoja, you can exist in your parties, but we have a united country. That's what I think he was confusing. Yeah, we normally say uniformity. Unity is not uniformity. For them, they are advocating for uniformity. But for us, we are talking about unity. Unity, you can come with your NDT, but we can agree on something. 
But uniformity is to come to fire uniform. Can you drop everything? We have to go. This is the way, and this is the highway. Uh, can we have uh, Daniel? You you had a question. No, I guess I had a question. This is Nabi, eh? Oh yes. Uh, yes. Um, you know, our brother has made a very very unacceptable statement to some of us who believe in as me or Umoja. Uh, he does not understand the philosophical underpinning of Azimio la Umoja. First of all, wh wh where are we coming from? We are coming from a scenario of 2017 that the country was divided into two. Now, what is Raila trying to say to this country? He's trying to say to this country that even with our differences, the country is bigger than any one of us. What we require for a future, a futuristic generation is the oneness that will deliver the dreams of our forefathers. On the other hand, this man the guy believes in, called uh, Ruto, is the one out to kill democracy because he's saying, for you to achieve unity, you must be in one party. Actually, for me, for me, who, who, who has suffered because of my, uh, fighting for multipartyism, what I see in that guy of that one oneness in one party is actually going back to a single party system because he does not believe in a coalition of ideas. So, so Wekasa, all I'm trying to say is that our brother is missing the point. The point is we must, in, 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 in our differences, we have a unit of purpose. You are done now. Huh? Let's uh, uh what's saying? We can say a little bit, eh? We can say Daniel had a question, let him say, and then you respond to all of them. Uh, I, I I never had a question though. I am waiting for my time. So are they, okay, so uh, let or le, okay, Bas, can you respond? Then we go to Okello kindly. Oh, well, let, let me a little bit not emphasize on big words like philosophical. Let, let us not be, do I say, let us not be hypocrites to say that we have a philosophical kind of politics in Kenya. No, we don't. What, what Ruto is saying, let us join one party. He's saying we know our opponents, but we need to face them as a single unit. He's, he knows that there will be opposition. He will face somebody. But Azimio Lamoja is like, let everybody come together, including your opponent and opposition and everybody. Let us balkanize together in one in oneness. There can never be such kind. Of, we don't have a philosophical politics in Kenya. Our politics is individual. It is it is a person. So let us not speak books. Let us be real to the ground, please. Thank you, Nania. There is something. Uh, you, you um, can cross. Yes, there's something our brother is missing. Eh? I, I don't think in Azimio we are saying that uh, let every Dick, Tom, and Harry come to together. We are saying we want people who believe in a new Kenya. We want people who believe in a corrupt, free Kenya. We want people who believe in, in, in real programs, not lies. You know? It's, it's not just that... that, that, that uh, let, let me ask the question. I, I've been asking myself, yesterday, tomorrow, if Ruto decided that he wanted to join Azimio La Umoja, how would we respond? We would be telling him, you have to shed off your corrupt tendencies for you to join Azimio La, La, La Umoja. 
It's not just that, that we are picking every tick, Tom, and Harry. I, I, I think I can respond to that. Yeah. What's happening is it, it, to that. It. You see, as we mule Omoja, it's the values, the ones that are in our national anthem. That's what Rail has been insisting on. Just like America, they say United States for us all, but they have different parties. But there's values that the United States stands for. So we have the values that we stand for that are in our national anthem. That is what we are asking, saying as we mule la umoja. And Raila is always singing that stanza ya national anthem. He's not saying all parties lazimi ingie ODM. No. Ruto is saying all parties wokita kuja hapa unavunda chamachako unakuja kwangu. Uda. That is one party system which we are we, we are fast that. We want a democracy where you can come with your own with your own party. But we stand with the values of the country. The ones that are in the national anthem, please. That's all I want to say. I, I, Wakesa. Hello. Just go ahead. Wakesa is Hello. not there. Okay. Hello. Now, Hello. now there, there's something. Eh? I also would want to add on Joe. what uh, Joe. the last speaker just said. Yes. Joe. That's yes. My Joe. No. Yeah. Joe, yeah. Joe. Yeah. Nico. Joe. Yeah. Yeah. The more than for ten minutes, I'm coming kindly. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll yeah. sort out. Now, chair, Power. Joe. Joe. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to add on what maybe you just uh, commented. There is something I would really want to continue correcting. Uh, my brother has just said politics is an individual. You know, the word poly means so many coming together. And because we are, we are, we are talking about ideologies coming together. We are actually referring to several other ideas from other individuals coming together to achieve oneness. A party has an, 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 an ideology. ODM has its ideologies. WIPA has its ideologies. UDA has its ideologies. Amani National Congress, the same. This is what they believe in and they have followers. These are groupings. This is what the meaning of politics is. It's actually several groups, several individuals linking up to form groups. Groups. My that brother, my brother, my brother let, me, let me interject you a little bit and ask you something. Eh? Kindly clarify which ideologies these parties believe in. Don't just say ideology. Don't use big words. Say this party believes in these ideologies. For a fact, this I can party, tell you in Kenya. Yeah, for a fact, party. I can tell you in Kenya. There is no party with ideology. It is about an individual. ODM without Ray Laudinga, there is nothing. It's a shell. Jubilee, when Uhuru leaves, it's dead and buried. Unless you tell me the ideology was Uhuru. Wipa, if Kalonzo is gone, it is dead and buried. Unless you tell me that was the ideology. UDA the without Moi. Ruto is dead. So Moi died with Kano. Yeah, what we are saying, ideology, is like a manifesto. Every party have got their manifesto. What they believe, exactly. how they believe, they want to run this country if given a chance. Those are what we call ideology. Yes, my yes. friend. Ideology, I, ideology, ideology does not change. Manifesto changes. If you look at the twenty that twenty or seven manifesto of ODM was different to twenty thirteen and to any other. An ideology of the party does not change. The ideology of Democrats in America is the same since Abraham Lincoln to today. Tell me no, that no. ideology that you're talking about. I'm, I'm talking but about... Going, you're I'm a talking Democrat, of what, what, uh, what UDA stands for, bottom-up, is an, an ideology, actually. That is what we mean when we talk about an idea that you people believe in, you can die for. You want to impart into our minds as Kenyans. You want us to follow you. 
Christianity is actually an ideology. We believe in Jesus Christ because he's the one who died for us. He spilled his blood on the cross. So I believe in him. I'm ready. He died for us. And that is what we as Kenyans, when we talk about, I'm still going back to that fact I'm telling you. When we say that Azimio La Umoja is a belief that Raila came up with, that if parties come together with the ideas, they put down a document, a policy document, upon which we can base our national operations to achieve a common good for this nation called Kenya, like growing industries, growing the agriculture sector, <laughs> organizing the ground so that the youth who come out of universities have stable jobs, is actually what Raila is meaning when he says, as Mio La Omoja, can also come with your idea, come with your wiper idea. Nudavadi come with your, your, your money national congress idea. Let us put them together. Let us pick the best. Let us not just go the ODM way alone. Let us come up with the, with the best. Bring your ideas on the table. I bring mine. Let's pick the best and achieve one strong nation. That one strong nation is what Raila is saying is in the national anthem. And he, he does it with a metaphor called Kanan. We have to achieve something. We cannot just say, break your each ama ya, 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 each ama ya, 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 Moses Kuria. Alikata kuhunja chama, Martha Karu alikata kuhunja chama, kwa sababu alikuwa na lazimishu avunja chama, aingie UDA. You can't go outside without an umbrella. Utanyeshe or what? So we need a common good. Hello? I think ODM has an ideology. And let me answer you in yes. this way. Yes. yes. And you've said that the ideology changes after years. Yes. You are you are you are saying you are, you you've backed your you have you're backing that Democrats also have an ideology that has not been changing. Democracy in America and democracy in Africa are two different things. Our democracy is very young. We are not even 60 years. So we are born to change within yes. any time. Now this is this is uh, the ideology of ODM to Kotayari. That is according to the latest, yeah? But I want one ideology that, that I, I as a member of the party ha, uh, belong to. I'm a veteran of ODM. So this is the veterans ideology of ODM. I'll read it for you. It says social democracy, mm. civic <laughs> nationalism, <laughs> social <laughs> liberalism, liberalism and populism which is a political position uh, taken as the jacobins because the odm is always a center left party yeah under uh, the coalition any coalition that it can fall into so if it falls under uh, the next coalition that is going to be formed uh, of course there is going to be a coalition yeah ahead of the general election the ideologies are bound to change. Now, that is the way our democracy operates. Mm. We cannot ape everything from America and place them in our parties. Even the ANC. ANC has different uh, ideologies. Yeah, They even have a military wing that people forget. Umukonto wa Suizwe, the spear of the nation. That is a military wing that is concerned with strikes and everything. Now, ODM, we've not even formed a zealot, zealot wing. We can also form a zealot wing, which we can, but because we love the nation very much, we'd rather go for peace, yeah? But if we had every wing, like I've just read for you the veteran ideology, that is one. Now, I just want you to read for me one ideology that you has. You claim that we never had ideology. I've now told you that we have an ideology. Joe, jo, let me just build on what my brother said about the liberal democracy. As, as, as an ideology in uh, of ODM. Just a moment, just a moment. Let's not dwell on the ideology. We had a topic here to talk about uh, the, the NDC and ANIO. So just build on that and then we move on to what we are talking about, the topic. Thank you. Thank you yeah, very much. I think it was my time. It was my time, yeah? <laughs> I was the one to talk uh, on, yeah, on the ideology. Just for him to build up and then I'll give it back to you. You wanted to build up what you have talked yeah, on uh, the ideology issue. 
After he's done no, that, I, I'll come back to you. Okay, so we've answered about the... I was answering booze, then I wanted to make my contribution for the day. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. First of all, I want to appreciate one person, uh, one personality in this forum who da doubles as my political godfather and uh, he has mentored me a lot. Way back from when I was a kid, when I was 10 years old, yeah, that is Mr. Nabin Abuera. We've come a long way. And I'm glad he has this far. If if I've stood this tall, it's because of I've stood in. Uh, if you've seen far, it's because I've stood in the shoulders of a giant. Nabi Nagwere is one of those giants. Way back from Sony. Thank you, sir. So today there was the Wiper NDC. This now people are talking and. Uh, you are mentioning about Musalia Mudavadi and all the political bigwigs were there. And to, as a scholar, I want to go back. I, I like referring back to various scholars again. There is this clip that uh, Haman Manyura did. Haman Manyura, I, I know you are most conversant with him, every, almost every yeah. year. He's a political yeah, yeah. analyst. And he said one thing, as it is now, the animal has already been skinned, yeah? What is now taking place is called thinning. Thinning is where, by after killing an animal, you now want to distribute parts. We say Mr. Nabi Nabuera goes with the thighs, Mr. Joe goes with the head, Mr. Elisha goes with the tail. Then we say Mr. Wekese is very, is a big man, he goes with the hump. Now that is what is happening. Now, again, I'd like to, Again, refer, refer it to the definition of politics according to Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong says who gets what, when, how, and how to achieve this means. Now, during the NDC, I learned one thing. It's, it's because of the thinning, uh, the thinning part. Everybody here in, in Oka, at least almost, a lot, at least two of them have been, no, three of them have uh, almost been in the ex senior most executive position. Raila being the former premier, Mudavadi being the former deep vice president, and same to Kalonzo. Now, if there are ideological di differences that are coming up as a result of that, the, uh, it's because of power position. That is according to my opinion, yeah? You are trying to imagine in the next government, let me say, Kalonzo becomes the president of uh, that coalition that is being formed. What is going to be the, uh, the position of Mudavadi? Now, in the most likely case, in our case here, scenario, and that is the reality, based on how even people applauded Raila, applauded Raila when he entered, he is the likely, most likely to be chosen as the, their presidential forerunner. Somebody like Mudavadi will have to imagine and rethink what is his position in the next government. Then it comes with ego. You know, politics also has ego. We talk of the deputy president saying, you, ne you, ne you never know. What if I appoint Mudavadi? He tells Mudavadi, you're going to be my running mate. Now there are some behaviors that are, you're watching. that are yet to be unfolded. The former NAC coalition was formed around two months to elections. We are not new to this. A week in politics is some long distance, but I don't want to dwell on that. I want you to take a note on this. Wait for Nyeri and DC that people are going to meet. That is where the real deal will be. Uh, will, we, we, people will see the real deal. You see, there's a problem with, I was talking about thinning. Somebody was even wondering, what is the position of Mutua Gil, okay, no, okay, okay and, no. your time is almost over. Please just uh, excuse yourself, yeah. we'll do the final, and we'll give okay. it to somebody else. Mukwa, Mukwana. Is it Mukwana? Oh, no problem. Yeah, so just finish up. Eh? Okay. If you think that way, then uh, I want to tell you that right now we are thinning. The president is thinning the, the bull and it's dividing parts. Number one, for his successor. So 
there is one thing that Alfred Mutua said in Muranga. Kalonzo was absent that day. He said, those who are here are now inside. So it's, it's you just find your way. So even Kalonzo, when he's hinting that he's going to work with, with Raila, he is finding his way. Anybody who wants to leave, he can leave. But right now, the ideologies are now being brought. Political succession is not very easy, especially when power is changing hand and going to the next generation. In 2013, history has a way of repeating itself. It was so confusing that Mudava defined himself as a lone ranger. So don't be a, a, a visitor. Don't, don't, be, don't be afraid if you see others running away. But at least it gave us a glimpse of where Kenya is headed. So I want okay, to tell okay, you that. Love. Love. Okay, okay, love. You, 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 you. Yeah, you've made your Thank point. You. You've made okay. your point. Thank you so much for elaborating. Can we have Elisha? Then we have Jako Jakendube. So Elisha, welcome for your submission, please. Elisha, unmute and give us your submission. Sorry, thanks. Now, I have seen my elder, Jack. I think I'd rather the best thing to do is to give time for his wisdom. And then I'll come in after him. Mr. Jack. Jack in Dubai. Karibu. Asante sana. Asante ni sana. Amujambo. Atujambo, Jack in Dubai. Tumekumi sana. Wee ndelea wana. Asante, asante. E, mjadala wa leo mimi naona ni kwamba <coughs> ni nzuri e, lakini mimi nina malal, mimi nina maoni tofauti kabisa. Naosema kwamba viongozi hawa wetu mimi naona wanatu wanatupotezea wakati sana. Kwa kwamba kwamba hawana au, Sioni kama ni wazalendo vile ninavyo nilivyokuwa nategemea kwa sababu tume tume tumesumbuliwa sana na hii mambo ya umoja kwa kweli Kenya hatujakuwa na umoja na hii jambo tulijaribiwa sana wakati tumejaribu kulikuwa na harambe kulikuwa na eh, wakati wanyayo lakini haikuwa haikuweza kutusaidia kama wana Kenya. Kwa hiyo mimi naona kwa maoni yangu kwamba hawa viongozi uangelifa waiunge wa azimio la umoja mkono ili nchi yetu iweze kutoka katika haya majanga ambayo tumekuwa nayo kwa miaka hizi zote. Kwa wakati huu mimi nasema tunataka kiongozi ambaye kiongozi ambaye anaweza kusema kwamba akiambiwa e, kuweka life yake online anaweka sio kiongozi mwoga mimi hiyo ndio kitu nasema kwa hawa viongozi wote ambao naona wengine wanataka tu president lakini wanataka kuifanyia kwa sababu tunaposema tunataka kujikomboa ki, kiuchumi si jambo la si jambo la rahisi kwa sababu kuna wengine wakati wa hiyo uchumi kuna wengine utawakanyaga miguu na vile vile hawa wabeberu wako wako wanatungojea kwa makucha yao huwezi kumnyang'anya nyama simba mdomoni kwa hiyo inatakiwa mtu ambaye amejitoa muhanga kiongozi ambaye tunamwamini kwamba huyu akisema pana iminza pana hata kama ni nini iminza pana Atu, atutaki hawa watu ambao wanataka tu president lakini wakiukiwauliza ukiwaambia sasa hata ana ikiwa ikifika migu kumi na mbili hata simama kwa sababu tumeona hawa jamaa <coughs> na viongozi wote tu wote tumeona kwa hiyo mimi nasema inafaa hawa viongozi sisi kama wananchi inafaa tuweke 
mkazo mtie mkazo kwa hao viongozi waache hivi wale wa, wa, wa support kwa sababu hao watu wakiform eh, 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 group hiyo inaweza kufanya nchi yetu ika ikapiga hatua kwa haraka zaidi kama kweli wanajiamini wao ni viongozi ambao wanaitakia wana nchi yetu kuna wakati mwingine lazima uache uweke nchi yako kwanza mbele kwamba hii kitu nakubali ifanyike kwa sababu ya nchi yangu lakini sio kusema kila mtu anataka kuwa president hatuwezi kuwa president sisi wote lazima tuchague tu mtu mmoja awe president na huyo mtu tu, lazima tumchague na sifa hatutaki siku hizi hatutaki this time hatutaki kuchagua kiongozi kwa sababu anato president kwa sababu anatoka kwa kwetu au kwa sababu kabila letu au hapana tunataka tuchague mtu ambaye sisi kama wa Kenya tunajua ni mwaminifu ni mwadilifu na mtu ambaye hana mambo ya ya ufisadi hata kidogo na ni mtu ambaye Jakindu Bay yes tumekusikia mawazo yako imekuwa mazuri lakini tulikuwa tunaomba kama ungetupatia vile wafikiria kwa mjadala ya leo vile Raila alikuwa amepokelewa kwa shangwe alafu tena ikonekana kama mudavadi hakuwa amefurahia kwa mwaliko ya Raila kukuja katika hiyo NDC ya Wiper alafu na Kalonzo vile aliongea akasema neno inawezekana kwa maoni yako unaona kama Kalonzo ni kama na, na anaelekea upande wa Raila na hiyo vile mudavadi alifanya unaonaje we mwenyewe mimi mwenyewe nasema kwamba naona kwamba uh, mtu ambaye analeta msukosuko pale ni mdavadi na mimi mdavadi nikimwangalia niki ame yeye mwenyewe amekosa mwelekeo mara nyingi sana kuna wakati mmoja alikuwa makamu wa rais akashindwa Raila akamvuta akamwambia tutembee pamoja ha, hajakuwa mtu consistent yani ni mtu ambaye ni kama bendera upepo ukienda upande huu anaenda upande huu upepo ukienda upande huu anaenda upande huu huyo mtu sio hawezi kuwa kiongozi ambaye wa kuaminika kalonzo hata kalonzo kama angekuwa na msimamo ambao na, naona kama leo nchi yetu haingefikia mahali tumefikia mkaseme kalonzo na na mdavadi kama wangekuwa na msimamo tangu pale zamani 2007 wangekuwa na msimamo nchi yetu haingefikia mahali tumefikia sasa tungekuwa tumeendelea zaidi kwa sababu wao ndio wamekuwa wakienda upande huu upande huu hawana msimamo kamili lakini uh, siku ya leo <coughs> niliona kwamba kwa kweli yule mtu ambaye naweza na, na kusema kwamba Kalonzo naweza kusema Kalonzo na na na, na Gideon na na um, Wetangula idhani kama wana wana, wana shida na, na uongozi wa Raila mtu ambaye ana shida ni mdavadi na 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 mimi nimemwona ana shida kwa sababu hata ukiangalia matamshi yalikuwa anatamka juu ya nafikiri mambo ya uchaguzi wao mambo ya uchaguzi ni kama tu vile eh, watu wa wa, wa wa uda wanasema sasa watu wa uda wameanza kulalamika saa hizi na nimemmsikia hata 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 mdavadi akimatamshi kama hayo kwa hiyo mimi ni mtu simuamini mpaka wakati huu kwamba ana msimamo uh, ambao hiyo oka imesimamia Hayo <coughs> ni maoni yangu juu ya juu ya kongamano ya leo lakini kongamano ya leo ni kama kwa maoni yangu ni kama ilimuidhinisha Raila kuwa kiongozi wa 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 wa, wa presidential ambayo inakuja 
sawa Jakendo Bay tumeshukuru sana kwa maoni yako wewe unajua kama wewe ni mzee wa hapa na tunakusikiza vizuri sana ah tunakwenda sasa Bukwana Bukwana ulisema umewachia na Jakendo Bay nafasi hebu tuambie maoni yako kulingana na NDC wa leo vile Raila alipokelewa Alonzo kwa ile matomushi alisema na vile mudavadi ni kama hapo umefurahia. Maoni yako ni vipi? Jo ni mimi eh? Eh, ni endelea. Na 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 cheka kwa sababu mzee Jack amemaliza kwa nikana kwamba ile kwa ilikuwa ni maana yake mengi yalitamkwa na wale If you can let me hear your voice. Yeah. vizuri. Inaonekana microphone yake kuna shida. Joe, unaweza mwambia Joe cool a uh, 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 Oh, Joe ni yako, sikia yangu. Joe cool. Joe cool. Pemba. Yes. Can, can you mute? Yes, mambo ya. Mimi ndio mute, alafu you take control eh. What I'm saying yes, okay. Someone yeah, yeah. Pemba. Yeah. No, it's not mine. It's Joe Cool. Can you mute, please? Wow, that's good. Now, I was just uh, backing up and a bit of uh, an additional on what Mze Jakindu Jack, Jack, said that today's NDC at Wiper Party at at uh, Wiper Party what Wiper Party's NDC today was like confirming uh, that Raila will be the next presidential candidate for uh, this this the soon to come coalition manake unaona alivuata sema mwenyewe party leader wa Wiper Kalonzo inawezekana nitarudia kusema alisema itawezekana kama wataungana walete mawazo yao pamoja kama vyama na wale topmost leaders katika nchi yetu wale wanawania viongozi ingawa kuna wale wachache ambao walikuwa kidogo mawazo yao na body language yao ilikuwa inaonekana ni kana kwamba hawakufurahia mwanzo hata walikuwa kwa Raila katika ule mkutano kwa hivyo yes Raila stole the show because he has impact impacted the lives of so many Kenyans politically cutting across the whole country east africa and even africa at large what he has done i said before that he has invested in his in in his uh, political career he has invested in the minds of many voters in Kenya in millions of minds of Kenyans that is why whenever he comes up with an idea like azmiola umoja and like what he wanted to confirm today by visiting by attending that session today many Kenyans will applaud they will cheer they are happy they were joyful they saw it as a seal hata kama wale waliidhinisha Kalonzo kuwa ndio mwaniaji wa urais urais katika kupitia chama cha Wiper ni dhahiri kwamba wote walifurahia kwamba mzee Raila alikuwepo na kwamba hata liwe liwalo 
manake yeye ndiye alikuwa ni kama guest mko nimeona headline ya news nafikiri ni KTN ikisema Raila was the main, the main guest actually the guest of honor so uh, 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 reading from this it's a political statement that is being sent throughout the country that he is possibly and, and and potentially the best out of all even though bado haja declare in the next coming what uh, conference ambayo alisema tarehe tisa ataweza kuongea awambia wa Kenya msimamo wake ni upi na ni nini ambacho anataka kwa ajili ya kuwania urais katika nchi ya Kenya kwa hivyo yeye leo kabisa kusema ukweli ingawaje kulikuwa na matamshi ya wale viongozi wengine kando wakijaribu ku kidogo lakini yeye alikuwa alikuwa on point alikuja pale akijua i'm going there to attend this ndc ya waipa but i believe whatever i've been I've, I've been telling kenyans including other leaders in kenya they will support it so ndio maana uliona akija alishangiliwa na alipendwa hata katika mkutano ingawaje ya kuongea mengi sana alimsifu kalonzo ndio lakini kwa minajili ya kuambia wa Kenya kwamba kalonzo tumefanya naye kazi hata before Sa, sasa haitakuwa ni vigumu sisi kwetu kufanya kazi na yeye kesho okay, ile ndio Elisha Elisha you have made your point Yeah. Uh, kama dakika zako zimeisha labda 30 seconds alafu malize. Yeah. Then I like I like to request Mr. Themba can you take over the, the, the moderation because from here mimi siwezi ingiza mtu kama nataka kuingia. So please take over Mr. Themba. Usijali wekesa yuko hapa na waingiza. So uh, just continue moderating. Hata sijafanya presentation. <laughs> Nakasa <laughs> yuko hapa na waingiza so usijali. Bwana basi nisha wewe maliza. Fanya fanya 30 seconds. Okay. So ndio nilikuwa nasema kwamba ingawaje hatuwezi at, sema history show. When the number is around don't worry. Okay sawa. <laughs> eh nakuja I'm finishing something nakuja. Sawa. So, you see we cannot we cannot confirm that he stole the show bila kutaja ya kwamba kuna wale walikuwepo lakini haikuwezekana kwamba makaribisho yao kutamka kwao body language yao na hata ukisama kila kitu ambacho walisema katika ule mkutano not so much of that content they were able to expose or express to Kenyans did please the people who were in attendance the only in summatively the only person who was able to deliver and who was actually loved and the people at the ndc conference were able to confirm to us who are viewing from wherever we are is raila actually raila did it because he is coming in and even he's speaking confirmed almost everything and plus the subject of nd the ndc conference today that is kalonzo himself mentioned that itawezekana and that is a, sl- a slogan that is being used by raila and his people his 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 campaign brigade on the on the idea of azimio la umoja that itawezekana so when a white party leader confirms that itawezekana it simply shows us that these people are going to work together Thank you thank you Elisha thank you Elisha There is something Elisha Jo alafu kuna mtu ako na swali Jo ni go to tuna bwera Jo Jo remember kungwe na is opening remarks Jo I will start by I will start by a statement Elisha has said eh? uh, in the, in the, in, the, in the speech of Raila there is something he said particularly and uh, the people cheered meaning they are looking for when he said that taretisa on 9th i will speak to the country and i'll speak where wh- the, the direction of things the way i want it to be 
and he, he, the, the, the upload was was huge it was uh, very mercurial in the in the room that tells you that tells you that even the people attending the wiper ndc are looking forward to the announcement raila is going to make on the 9th and that is the acceptability we are talking about here now having said that there are four things i want to say and one of them i'm going to say because i come from the western part of the country we have dwelled so much on the, uh, the body language on the behavior of uh, uh, one Musaliam Dabadi. One, Musaliam Dabadi is being held hostage by three people in the politics of Western Kenya. One, uh, 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 Cleophas Malala, who, want, who is holding brief on behalf of William Samoy Ruto. The second person... Yes. The second person holding Musalia hostage is one Agoi, who wants to use Musalia's candidature to become a governor in Vihiga. The third person holding Musalia uh, uh, hostage is one Adagala, who wants to use Musalia to retain her seat of women rep. Now, what does that mean to the politics of Western Kenya? By the way, Western Kenya people have, to, mm -hmm. uh, have moved on with Azmiyo Laumoja. And this, in the, in, the, in the coming two, three weeks, you will see what's going to happen. I'm aware the Council of Elders are going to make a statement on Saturday. I'm also aware that there is a big movement mm -hmm. in the Bukus side of Western Kenya where Walukano has convened a meeting of youth, women. Walukano is the supreme chair of the Bukusu Council of Elders. So that in itself is worrying Musadia. Even if, as much as we want to say uh, he was not very comfortable with Raila, he, he knows at home things are not as easy as, as, as they look. The second mm -hmm. point I want to make is that the, the, there is a configuration uh, around uh, Ngilu, Kivuda, and uh, and Mutua. What Kalonzo is doing is being magnanimous. He knows very well that Raila being the political animal he is, he has done his groundwork in the Kamba nation. Kalonzo knows if he doesn't respond to the magnanimity of the Kamba nation, he will go down the drain. That's why it's very clear that working with Raila is the best option. The third point is what Okello said, that there is so much going to happen tomorrow and Saturday in Nyeri, in what is calling the thinning of the animal. It's going to happen in Nyeri. And please, Kalonzo is alive to it. Kidion is alive to it. That Jirongo you see there is a hatchet man. He's alive to it. Now, what does that mean? Musadia being what he has been, expecting everything on a silver platter, knowing that it is not going to come, He's lost in between going where his foot soldiers, Malala, Agoi, and, and uh, Adakala thinks he should go, or remain with Baba. In that, being what he is in terms of judgment, he's lost. From where we stand, like Manyora, Professor Manyora says, maybe he needs prayers. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Eh? Apart from Adagala and Agoy, maybe yeah, trying to ride on. Uh... We were ni kiongozi ambayo tu meshimu. We were ni kiongozi ambaye uh, uneza kuwa rais wa Kenya. Ni lakini chukua muda uchunguze 
wale watu ambao wako karibu na wewe wale watu ambao wanasema wanakusaidia wewe kwa sababu hawa watu hawakusaidii hawa watu ni fisi ambao wanakaa na wewe kwa ma boardroom ambao wanakula na wewe lakini wanafanyia watu wengine kazi mimi najua na niko na ushahidi na mimi siogopi kusema na hili ni jambo ambalo limekuwa ni e, ndani ya roho yangu kwamba tuna wabunge fulani ambao wanajifanya wanakutetea wanaongea kwa bidii sana sana wanaattack sana mheshimiwa Raila Odinga hawa viongozi si wa ukweli kwa sababu mchana wako na wewe usiku wanaenda kuchukua bahasha kule kwa William Ruto na hawa tunawajua mheshimiwa Malala wewe ukiongea vibaya kwa Ruto unapiga simu unaambiwa kuja uchukue bahasha hata ule mbunge wa Lurambi ule ambaye amezoea kuanguka eh, kwa mchanga kurolo kwa mchanga huyo pia tunajua mambo yake tuna mawakili tatu tuna wengine pia wanasema watu wa media sijui wa, wa watu wa social media hao pia tunajua mambo yao mchana wako na wewe usiku wako huko kwa Ruto wanafanyia Ruto kazi na mimi siongei tu kwa kuongea nimesema hii maneno hapo mbeleni nikasema muluka no walo ni watu wa Ruto mkanipiga vita hata mkanifukuza kwa chama hata mkanipeleka kwa koti, kwa koti. nikapambana nikawashinda kesi saba nataka kurudia leo kwamba uko na watu ambao unafanya nao kazi lakini hao watu hawako na wewe wanasukuma gurudumu ya mtu mwingine sasa saa hizi tuna wengine ambao wako ndani ya chama chako wameambiwa kwamba kazi yao itakuwa ni Quran and Raila strategy in western kwamba wakiamuka asubuhi wanaongea ubaya wa Raila wakiamuka asubuhi wanaongea mambo mabaya kwa Raila usitumie jini ya Raila kusema and Raila strategy ndio ingie kwa waluya na malala ni rafiki yangu kwamba wanataka wewe usimame u president si ati kwa sababu wanakuonea vizuri upite wanataka uende wanajua utaanguka ndio hao wapate ile vile Okay okay now that this thing is uh, it's, it's actually it's in the public domain and uh, so many people have talked about it eh uh, must Joe. remember yeah just uh, I, I forgot something to say about uh, this man called Weta you know i've heard people here say that uh, Weta will come with the Raila and and all that let, let me now tell you the true scenario Weta has left all his soldiers to go to UDA. It's a fact. On the ground, even in Bungoma, the last trip of uh, Ruto, it is Weta's team that was mobilizing for Ruto. In this thing, Weta has nothing to gain or lose other than being a political entrepreneur. Him is making a cut either way. So, and Raila knows this, and, and I can tell you for free, Raila will ignore Weta any other day, because he knows in terms of political value, zero. Okay, okay. Thank you for, for, your, for those views. Eh? And now that uh, Wanasema, that Mudavadi has been uh, betrayed by his own people, or they are playing what we call espionage on behalf of Ruto. Uh, I don't know why he has not seen this, and I think he's a he's a senior politician, and I think he must be having his networks. Now, Bonathemba, before you you give us uh, your overview of today's NDC and the body languages that were there, please can you talk Fafanua i mambo ya ya mdava na kina malala na goi na dagala, as we we have heard from this other presenter. Yeah, thank you uh, so much, Joe, for uh, that invitation to speak. Uh, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Um, it's uh, it's indeed true, and uh, we are witnessing politics and uh, politics play. That's the nature of politics. Number one, 
you cannot go into a political context and uh, <clears throat> decide to be honest. That is according to uh, Machiavellian principle. That uh, if you want to, to go to politics and uh, you want to preach honesty, then uh, you're in the wrong profession. If you are going to politics, your interest should be one, uh, is power. And uh, if your interest is power, then uh, you will, uh, you will uh, understand when some people backstab others when uh, issues like Joe, you are calling espionage, you are calling double agents. That's the nature of politics everywhere. And politicians, by nature, they go for their interest. What is the interest of Mandala? You know, what is the interest of Modavadi? What is the interest of all those people who are following a, a particular politician? So I pick that as a political process and political participation and political ambition, which is okay. Now, the only problem comes in when you are defeated, when you don't get what you want, because all of you are interested in that. So that is now where the, 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 the problem comes in. In any time a politician is out there, <laughs> if you are going into politics and you start trusting people, then uh, you have a problem, you know? Because even in politics itself, you have to always be on your feet. So Mudavadi, uh, I, Malala, for strange reasons all along, has been showing where he is going. And so he, he's put it, he's put it so clear, and even to an extent that he comes to lecture, his, uh, his boss on a political podium, you know, that if you don't pick this direction, then we are, we are, we are not following you. Now that, in my view, shows someone who is not in control of his party. Because if you are in control of your party, then there are several things that you have to instill. Number one, discipline. If your people want to address you, there are forums, there are avenues in which they can address you. You know, the other people who can create that are different people, not necessarily those people who are your key allies. So who is the party boss here? Who is the party leader here? The party leader shows direction to his party. So when Malala stands up in a political podium and then gives the lectures to his uh, party boss that if you don't pick this direction, by this particular time, then we are not going to, we are, you, you will see what, what happened. You know, they're like pushing you to a box. And that as a leader, it shows that uh, you, are, you are already yeah. not in control of what is going on, which I think is a very uh, bad place to be at as a party leader. So to that extent, I think Modavadi has shown his lack of uh, leadership in terms of uh, giving direction to his party members. Uh, there's no place or no forum. You'll find the people giving Raila lectures that, you know, you, 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 if you don't announce your, your presidency by this time, if you don't tell us by this time, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's supposed to, you're, and even Ruto, you don't find the people telling him, if you don't call national, when did you hear uh, UDA has called national delegates conference to endorse William Samway Ruto? There's no way. But where have they told him that if you don't call the National Delegates Conference by this time, <laughs> you know, because he has learned the rope of managing a party. You see, in a party, as a leader, if you start allowing such kind of drama, then you are not going to be taken seriously. Now, uh, on to the next point, especially of what uh, I think I, I, before I go there, I think uh, we had a, a discussion here a few a few weeks ago, we had a discussion here, and we had tried to analyze the, the, the principles of Oka and the way they're likely to move in future. And I remember at this point we said that uh, chances of Mudavadi moving over to, to support Ruto are high. Uh, the people who are likely to, to come over and work with, with Baba is, uh, is uh, Kalonzo, uh, Gideon and uh, most likely Jirongo. Weta will probably go where he'll be promised more, like someone has said. Because I don't under, I don't think Jirongo and uh, Moi would work with Ruto. You know that 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 one I don't think they can. Kalonzo is the most likely to move over to work with Baba, while mm -hmm. uh, Mudavadi 
the pressure from his people by not allowing <laughs> even to try and uh, move over to they have told him in no uncertain terms that in the event that uh, he decides for baba they are going to take their people to 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 uh, the other side so I, i think that was that was uh, uh, something that came out from today now on the idea of baba stealing the show at the ndc like many presenters have said that is a vote of confidence in baba's azimiola umoja because his azimiola umoja basically what baba is saying is that there are three things that came from his speech that i that i that i think were stood out number one, he talked about respecting political parties because kenya is a multi-party democracy so the fact that parties are strong and he said a multi-party democracy means that strong parties make a strong political party democracy so there's that respect for political parties and he's trying to say that the more strong you are as parties the stronger our democracy that is a political system uh, i mean respecting different political systems will be i think that point he came came so strong the second point that he came out very strong as someone has mentioned is the historic working that they have had with the uh, you know uh, senior council uh, Kalonzo Musyoka he is given the 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 history and when he finished he was like it is still possible for a path to meet some day you know so he, that was that was also very tactful he's saying that we have had a working relationship before we can still have a working relationship again which i think was very key then of course the way that the people received him showed kalonzo that indeed this person is widely accepted what are the endorsement do you need and as a party leader what other thing do you need if you are going to want to work with anyone if people can receive him that way not even the way they received all the other people then it shows you there's something about this person that your people are telling you bringing in ngilu to that place was telling him something was also to tell kalonzo something that hey you guys are working together if you can work together it can be more it can be more stronger you remember ngilu uh, kivuda kibwana and mutua have been having a strong bond now that strong bond that they have been having it has been kind of like providing an alternative in the event that kalonzo does not work <laughs> does not follow this direction and continues with the oka agenda so that particular axis might still hive certain votes from kalonzo's axis now that in the event that they work together it will still be solidified which i think is a good thing so in my view i think it was a good thing a good reception uh, for a good political analyst if you read from the mood on the ground i think kalonzo got the 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 what he wanted you he, he probably wanted to ask them do you think i should work with baba now the way he posed the question and invited he invited him he already told them he didn't pose the question but he told him that what do you guys think this is the direction i should be going so by the time even maybe it was the guy who was the the, the organizing secretary who was talking a lot is one of the people who have been coming out probably to pressure him that he shouldn't work with one raila amolo odinga so if is is uh, if if uh, that was the reception <laughs> the people actually got the message that you see whatever you guys are saying this is the direction that we need to be going which i think is a good thing i don't think uh, one uh, mudavadi <laughs> uh, his body language not even standing uh he should be worried you know because i know he is uh, those are those are a pre- uh, whatever an interview that took place uh, where uh sakaja attended and uh, mutula kilonzo junior attended they said that there is nothing like two horse races there is a three horse races they are working on something together and anything is possible which is which is true but then again they went ahead to say that uh, there's something uh, uh, sakaja said that caught my eye he said that what Raila side and Ruto side are struggling with are the deputy presidents 
and he said after the BBI was nullified, I mean nullified, they went, he went ahead and called all the principals, including Root, and asked them, is there anything that was your problem with this? Most of them said there was no problem, including Ruto. Now, he said that uh, whoever they will support as Oka is going to win the presidency. That is what he said. But now, if Oka themselves are not going to be together, if they separate, then whichever side the majority of the Oka guys will be going will win. <laughs> So in the end of the day, I could still, uh, based on that interview, I can still pick um, two horse races come, uh, come uh, next year. That is what I can say for now, Joe. Maybe as we continue, I'll, uh, I'll keep giving my view, unless there's any question. I have Thank a question. Thank you very much, for, for, for that elaborate on, on the, the relationship between... Uh, uh, I mean the the actions of Modavadi and uh, the, the 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 all coming of Raila and the the, the political mix. Uh, I'd like to maybe throw the ball now to to Akesa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Someone with a question. Yeah. But before that, yeah, if there is anybody with a question, I have a question for you, Mr. Demba. Now that uh, you're saying it's most likely for Ruto to work with Raila, what happens to the other three governors? Because they, are, they, they have not been seeing eye to eye with uh, with Kalonzo for a long time. So what will happen? Because the three governors have been working together and the Kalonzo has been working on the other side. Now that if Kalonzo joins the Raila and we perceive they are on the Raila side, what will happen? Okay, um, remember the, 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 if you remember Ngilu some time back, some time back Ngilu, uh, in, in, a, in, the, in an event, I think Raila attended, uh, Kalonzo attended that particular event, Ngilu came out and said that you guys should work together. He, he, she, she tried to, to encourage Raila and Kalonzo to work together, right? So her, her best hope and best chance is that Kalonzo would still come and unite and work with Raila, right? But now they are coming together, the, the, the three coming together, that is uh, the three governors coming together, was an alternative axis. In the event that this Oka thing goes all the way, then the best bet, because for them, they, remember their their intention is to be in government. They cannot they cannot imagine <laughs> that uh, that uh, Kambas will not be in government, all right? And their conviction is that the Raila side of uh, Inawezekana is more convincing and more of the best bet to be in government. Now, if the Oka thing, the Oka thing in the in view of those three governors is not is is uh, as very uh, minimal chances of rising to power. So the only other side that gives a very strong, you know, stronger uh, competition is the UDA side. But definitely, they have trashed that side. They don't agree with the UDA side. So if there's any side that they can join and take the Kamba vote, is in the Raila side which is what Ngilu is trying to bring across. So I think either way, because all of them have political parties, by the way, <laughs> uh, uh, the Makweni governor has his own political party. Mutua has the, his party, that is Chap Chap. And Ngilu has her party, NAC. All right? So all of them have political parties. And remember, Ruto has said categorically that for him, he's not going to negotiate with political parties. So if you want to support him, you have to be in order. <laughs> now, that is a point of departure for many political parties. And that's why most people with political parties are consistently saying that our development moving forward has to be based on vibrant political parties. And that is only respected by Baba. Who fought for the, for, the, for the constitution that has the political parties? Now, Ruto's weakness or undoing, which I, I hope maybe 
for some some parts is is being is being selective in its application because when he goes to Migori, he takes a political party led by Juan Obado. When he comes to Rift Valley, he takes a political party led by Isaac Ruto. But when he comes to Central and these other places, he tells them that all of you have to join UDA. How come uh, Isaac Ruto has not been told to disband Chama Chama Mashinani? How come Obado has not been told to, to disband uh, People's Party? It, it's only in Central <laughs> and part of Rift Valley and these other places and coast that he says that we all have to be in one in one vehicle called the UDA. So you see, it's also its application is also what selective. So he's not being genuine, you know. He's not being genuine with what he's trying to say, and that is okay. The kill. Okay, Themba, you've made your point. Uh, anybody with another question for Themba, Mr. Themba? Akuna. Wekesa, maybe I plead to you to take over so that I'll also take a break and make, make, some, make some coffee. Just wanted to show you guys that nothing is impossible in politics. This was 20, uh, 2020, actually. They met and they said we don't have a problem. I remember okay. also when uh, Kalonzo met with uh, Kibuta Kibuana uh, somewhere, in, it was Ilikuwa Masishi somewhere. They did not have a problem with the Kibuta. It's only that maybe Nivila Lipangi Fia Chama. Yet he made it look so simple. Yeah, so Kalonzo as a diplomat, he may not have a problem. But uh, again, I, I will say this. Uh, individually, maybe they may not work together, but under the umbrella of uh, Baba, they can. And that is what uh, Raila has been doing. When he goes to uh, any region, he ensures people who have been worrying are the same ones he brings together. When he went to Meru, he ensured uh, uh, Kiraitu Murungi and uh, Omunya have created hands. So he wants to demonstrate that this Azimio Umoja is real even to the local politics. And that's why he has been very keen. First, he has brought the three governors together, and then now he calls, he wants to pick their leader and bring them together. They may not agree on ideas, yes, but under the umbrella of Azimio Umoja, they can still work together. And for me also, it will be a plus to Kalonzo such that these are people you cannot control, but someone else is controlling them for you. Uh, so it gives you a mileage, uh, such that um, you can still be able to work together. And um, uh, Mark, you, this, these guys, uh, they are not looking so much for presidency as, as some want to, maybe for future, but not for now. But right now they want to be in government. So the fact that Kalonzo will be in government does not deny Kivuta to be in government. The fact that Kalonzo can be in government does not deny Mutua to be in government. Yeah, you can be in, just as Kalonzo and Raila were in government even if when they, they were not agree. So you can still all of you be in one government even when you don't agree. I also gave you an, a scenario of uh, of Kirinyaka politics. You see, uh, and Nani decided, and it was Anwa Iguru, decided to join her, her major opponent in the same party. That is easier to square it when you are in the same side than when you are in the opposing side. So sometimes you can go in the same side not necessarily you are agreeing. You can still square it in the same side. 
Uh, so it is a possibility that they can work together. And uh, uh, I'm looking at also the four of them. None of them believes in opposition politics. Mutua doesn't believe in opposition politics. Neither Givuda Kibwana, neither Kalonzo himself, neither Ngil. Ngil has always been going where government is. <laughs> so chances, yeah, if they have done their mathematics and they know this is where government is going, despite their differences, they will still want to be at the side of government. Okay, that's my look of things. But what worries me in that uh, NDC is it almost buried the Oka dream. It was not pronounced the same way it was maybe so pronounced in Wetangul as NDC or in Kidion. This one was almost buried. Uh, the, the talk of Oka was no, not, not there. If somebody followed up and realized that. So it is the last days for Oka. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, they, they were being told that time is running out and uh, very soon everybody will uh, try his luck on what they think is working best. Then, yeah, uh, do you... yes. yes. This, this is Nabi, yeah? uh, I'm saying this. Swali kutoka kwa Nabi, then Swali kwa Demba. No, yes. no, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just making a point from something you've said about uh, oh, yeah. the, the the pronouncement, uh, the, the 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 pronouncement of Oka not being allowed uh, uh, today. I, I, actually, the truth is, uh, Oka has outlived uh, the debt. It's 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 uh, by sell debt. It should have died by now. And and I can tell you, it's not going to be easy for for Oka. Because uh, if you looked at now, when 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 uh, Manikidi was speaking, then you could know that uh, Manikidi is saying, uh, "We are wasting time. We need to move to where we need to be." And that's why I'm telling, I'm saying here today that uh, watch the Azmio of Nyeri and watch Ninth. I don't see Oka living beyond Christmas. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, what what is your comment, Nabi, on uh, messaging of uh, Madavadi? He seems to be speaking the same language with uh, Uda. Uh, they are complaining about CJ. He is complaining about IBC. I ask myself, what is that the message you take to someone? It's NDC. Let, 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 let me someone tell you. Wekesa, <laughs> Wekesa. It hasn't started today. For the last six weeks, Musalia has been talking the language of Uda. Uh, and, and this is uh, understandable. I had just made uh, some submission here that uh, the, the people driving Musalia, if you can take the 2012-2013 the scenario, it is a replica. That time it was Khalwale, today is uh, Malala. In, in fact, uh, I, I want to believe the talking notes for today were prepared by Malala, including the language. So, so it, it, is, uh, it, it is responding to what I call political hostess. That's what it's responding to. I have a question to Mr. Nabi. Uh, could it be that uh, to Mr. Nabi, just according to his sentiments, could it be that uh, 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 Mudavad is afraid of uh, maybe the position that uh, now Oparanya is also taking on the lawyer side? Could it be that he's afraid of Oparanya? <sighs> Yeah, maybe Wakesa, let me let me answer uh, on behalf of Nabuera. No, let, let me just say what I, I know. Musalia. Okay, then uh, Elisha, you can comment. Demba had yeah. a question to me. 
So, okay. Yeah. All right, uh, Wekesa. Yes, Musalia is a man under siege. Back at home. I know <laughs> as as we move closer to December, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm aware even that uh, thing he was had been given by Atwoli. Atwoli is going to announce a new uh, uh, political leader for, for, for the Liyo community. But that's not important. What's important for me is that uh, the council, the Luya Council uh, of Elders is meeting this Saturday, the executive. In the next two weeks, they have a, a, meet, a very huge meeting in Kakamega, and I'm aware the, 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 they, they have made their mind that uh, they, 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 they are better off with the Musalia, with the Oparanya than Musalia. Why? Because they are saying the direction Musalia has taken for the it's the, 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 the detrimental to the community. The Leo community is not going to divorce with Raila at the time when they know they are going to bring the girl at home. I've also been asking myself that question. Why have you guys, do you have stood with the Raila all that time? Now the time when the signs are showing that actually <laughs> he's going to get this thing, are they really genuine? Deba, <laughs> 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 ask your question now. <laughs> You know, you know, you said something there, Wekesa, and uh, I just wanted uh, <laughs> your your point. Uh, you know, you said when Guru joined the UDA, you know, when she realized that uh, it was getting a little murky on the ground to go and fight it out with the, you know, the the women rep in Nuda. But that has caused some other, uh, uh, you know, uh, tough times for you there because the Ngirishi is is saying that uh, we have worked hard to get UDA to where it is, and uh, it seems that it is not rosy as soon as Waiguru joined the other side. And uh, you said they are going to sort it out into nomination. They might not necessarily go up to nomination. Because uh, according to Ngirishi, her bet was where Guru still stays where she is, and her, she has the UDA nomination. But it seems that uh, where Guru, being who she is, she would easily, you know, buy herself out to get the nomination paper. And that is something that Ngirishi is not willing to, to hold on to. So do you think it will hold up to nomination, as you say? <laughs> no, Maybe we can, we can but my question about uh, nomination, my view was uh, sometimes people can decide to square it out in the same direction than going opposite comes. So the decision, and, and actually uh, when, uh, when uh, Ano Ikuru moved to Ngerishi's side, most people say it, she had miscalculated, but it's turning out she's benefiting. And one of the things is also her opponent made a mistake. When she came on the side, it's like she gave in, she, you see, she, she gave, she'd stopped going to the campaigns. She says she was studying to see what is happening. You see, she gave Anawe Guru room, and Anawe Guru has occupied actually. And she's even feeling that she's the inferior one. But days before that, she was actually everybody knew that Tingriji is going to take this thing. So an Oiguru tactically turned the guns to the opponent. And that is what I was saying that sometimes people can square it in the same direction. Instead of uh, saying that uh, Kalonza Kienda Naraila, Sisi Tunaenda Naruto. Sometimes they can decide, let's go in one direction and see who emerges stronger in the same direction. That is what I was saying. 
but I, I don't know I don't know how you're saying that where guru has gained because uh, you see on the ground uh, it is not the party that uh, or jubilee not the vote. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. it's not the vote I, I'm not even suggesting she will be voted in I'm saying tactfully she has tried to intimidate the the, the strongest opponent actually because Grishi okay seemed very strong in UDA. But right now, the way, if you check even how old, the way she's tweeting, like, uh, you find she's also, like, somebody who has, who is disturbed. She's not strong the way she used to give messages and the people know that this is the person. Wait, 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 so can I say she was distracted. Wait, wait, uh, the example of Ngirishi and Waiguru is not the best example in this case. I'll tell you why. You are right. Sometimes it's very good to, to, to go and fight it in the same direction. But I can tell you, uh, Waiguru, uh, having been very close to the powers that be, she was privy to information that Ngirishi had signed a deal with the Kibisho and the government. That actually Ngirishi, whether 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 Waiguru went or not, Ngirishi was going to leave to leave Ruto. I can tell you this for free from my sources. Whether Waiguru went, Ngirishi is making an excuse to leave. That is the truth. Ngirishi, Ngirishi, Ngirishi is making an excuse to leave, and Ngirishi, you can write this date down. Is the next governor of Kirinyaga. If mother gains whatever he's thinking she'll gain. Girish is the next governor. Girishi. Okay. Can I just add a bit? In politics, uh, politics in, is a game that is scripted. All that you see right now, that just side show, that, that things that have been scripted, that, that people are doing acting. The district as it is, has also ensured that there are places that they have secured strategically, including Kirinyaga County. The position that Mr. Nabi has said about Ngiriji, there was a contact that between, uh, between Karanja Kibicho and Ngiriji. It is this that forced actually Waiguru to join UDA. This is the thing that made them to join uh, that party. And, and 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 you see now so that you can close on that now you see, i don't, uh, I don't know Wekesa. guys if you have nullified my point because the argument i'm still saying Wekesa. is that the Wekesa, three Wekesa, governors appointed... also have a deal with raila are you your, seeing your, your, your point is valid government. we are just we are just analyzing further on the use of that example we are not yes. nullifying your point we are just analyzing further <laughs> the use of that example because yes. we are saying, you and I are aware that uh, Waiguru's problem was not a party, a wrong party. Waiguru is our own problem. You realize Waiguru had burdens of NYS following her. She goes to Kirinyaga. She has, she, she mistreated her MCS. She, she stole from them. She didn't listen to them. You know, she, she had her own, uh, she, she was not, I think what we can say is she had poor PR, you know. In terms of uh, harnessing the support of her MCAs and her people, she didn't manage that well. To the extent that when impeached. they were going for, when she was going to be impeached and all, she was very arrogant, you know. And when they went to the to the Senate, she sent her husband to go and uh, you know fight for her. And they, you know when the lawyer came out so strongly, you remember her lawyer said that you see the Senate is 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 going to overturn the will of the people. And Waiguru was so smart that she didn't sign anything. And when she was asked where the money was, she said she took the money and she returned it. So the question was, where did you place it when you took it? And when you returned it, where did... you see that that was that was what hurt Waiguru's public image. So mm. whether whether she moved to UDA or not, Waiguru already had poor PR with her people. So Girishi took yeah. advantage of that gap, you know, yeah. 
and now she went and uh, you know and mass. So I I don't think and people have told us it is not the party that we don't want. So you believe that we don't want? It is the person of Waiguru. We have yeah. not nullified your 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 point, so. <clears throat> Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I was both answering you and uh, somebody bus because bus now came here and said that because uh, Kalonzo is tilting towards Raila, chances are can Alfred Mutu and they will bolt. Sometimes it's not automatic. Sometimes it's not automatic. Sometimes they can square it on one side, and sometimes they can bolt out. It depends on their interest also. Uh, if they are focusing on 2022 to market themselves, they can bolt. But if they are focusing to have seats in government like ministerial po posts, they will st still fight for their space within the same matrix that they have been uh, put in. Okay, so can we have uh, them? But do you have administrative? Privileges. Um, I have not been. Uh, I have tried to get the administrative been, privilege. Okay. I, I used. I used to have them, and I don't know what happened. I know Mutembe keeps telling me no. that I'm supposed to be having them. I don't know what happened. No, what happens? Even me, I lose them. What happens if you change and uh, use maybe the same stream yet on a different uh, platform, or even yourself, you register? It happens. It loses. Uh, the earlier link you are given, so you, you need to be reset. Or even when okay, you so change the phone. Me, I okay, I will, from... I, will, I, will, I, will have, I will have him reset me. Now, yeah, there's something is... you've said there. There's something you said as we talk about this Kalonzo, Raila. Right? Like, what, what, because the only, the only sure position that Raila could have as a negotiation point right now is the deputy president. So I, I probably would, 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 would want to hear your thoughts on that. Now, what position do you think he would assure these uh, big wigs? And number two, maybe for our discussion also, Raila, Raila is uh, supporting the idea of uh, strong, strong parties, you know, coming in. So he brings in all these parties and chances are that all parties will try to to get their members. Is it possible that our 2022 parliament could be a hung parliament, uh, whereby you have, a, you have a majority that uh, has not gained the majority? You know, you have probably Raila coming in. He has a deputy president, say, from Central. And of course, you guys know the presidents of the behavior of the current deputy president. And uh, this deputy president of course has his party also having certain numbers and uh, thereby you know making the parliament uh, you know a hung parliament to the extent that there are things that uh, <laughs> might not necessarily may not pass in the next parliament what, what, are, what are the dynamics because yes it's good to bring many people you remember in this parliament if Raila would not have had a handshake with the uh, Uru, uh, the 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 Ruto side was going to to sabotage, you know, to hold the president in ransom that we don't pass certain things because we don't agree with you, right? So here you have a situation where you have Wiper with its own people, you have uh, TNA with its own, your Jubilee with its own people, you have uh, Kanu with its own people, you have. You have all these parties coming with this, uh, uh, under coalition, though. Now, what happens in the event that they do not agree? Is it possible host trading can occur and then these people sabotage such that you can have uh, a very, yes, you had the president, but you yeah. have a very interesting uh, a scenario moving forward. Just, just a food for thought. Yeah, but uh, I will also look at it from different perspective. When they are two strong entities, they measure strength. But when they are multiple entities, sometimes it's not automatic because people don't tend to think in a similar way. So if you have multiple parties, perhaps one can betray you, but still... You see, it's easier to deal with someone who has 30 MPs than you have someone who has 100 MPs, one person. 
And that's why it was easier for that time when uh, LDP had a problem, it was easier for Kibaki to put LDP aside and bring in uh, the Nyachai and form a, a government of national unity. In other words, the smaller the parties, the easier you can play around with coalitions. Then we have a very strong, uh, for example, uh, Raila to get us a running mate that has strong, has uh, maybe 100 MPs. If they disagree, that is the greatest challenge because that is what Ruto has been doing to Uhuru. But if he has a running mate with the 50 MPs, and then there are other people who are also coming in with 20 MPs, 30 MPs, 40 MPs. It's easier to play around with that. Okay, thank you. Let me also attempt to answer Temba. The problem can arise, yeah? And you've seen it already, because even uh, the parties that uh, are being formed by Kingi, he's also saying he's going to work with Raila. So there are very many people who are coming in bo on board. Let me tell you how Raila is going to do this in one slash. Number one, he has said and he's reiterated that he's going to resurrect the BBI. Yeah? And the BBI had that formula of ensuring all communities and everybody in Kenya participates in government such that he is going to make the politics the aim of the bbi is going to make the politics of kenya to be less zero sum whereby where even if you're a loser you don't lose such that the bbi will be so sweet that even ruto will campaign for it because if, if at all it becomes number two because it is guaranteeing him a position yeah he's going to serve in an office yeah he's not going to be left undercover so everybody is going to be taken care of after the bbi so that is one i just wanted to answer your curiosity there that is the surest way that Rayleigh is going to do it as soon as possible and he's going to make sure that this bbi passes very fast through parliament let me weigh in, eh? let me weigh in them, <coughs> now uh uh, f from uh, my standpoint, Raila has already foreseen this. Eh? He has foreseen that there is a possibility of uh, a, hung, a hung parliament and he's working towards ensuring there will be no hung parliament. How is he doing it? If you look at his campaigning and his res resurrection of the ODM party, he's going to win the seats in Trukana. Is getting the whole of Western resurrected. The, the party is very active in Western, and there's a lot of effort to ensure that there is a majority party in Western. Look at what was happening today in Kisi, getting all those people who had left the party and who have potential to win the seat. At court, he's not leaving anything to chance. In the Ma region, if you look at the arrangement he has with the people in the Ma region, is those people come on ODM as a party. Now, it, it works very well with what Wekesa has told you. The other parties that will come in, look at the parties, he, the, the way he's working in Central. He has PNU, he has Jubilee, he has the, 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 this other party of the None of them can get more than 30 seats. None of them can get more than 30 seats. So they will be having small small parties with the 20, uh, 18, 14, but then ODM would be having well over 80, 80, 80 seats. I can see it. Actually, the challenge only comes with, uh, and then also it's about personality. Actually, the challenge uh, Uru has had is, uh, it was, having a stronger debut than uh, the president in terms of personality. So that is also something that is being considered uh, in terms of number two should be actually number two, even in personality. <laughs> you know, bring someone who thinks he's number one is better than you. Bring True. someone who thinks he's number two, even in personality. And uh, you see people like, uh, you see, uh, me, I normally say uh, people like Mudavadi, Sijiwa Najisumbuwa Nini Kukua President, their personality is that of number two. 
akuwe hapo na if i told they will be number one, itakuja by grace of god the same way kina suluhu walipata you know there are people who get this presidency by grace of god i see at wataenda nje wa campaign na ikuje so they should be there and uh, know that their personality is more in fact he's trying to be loyal to uh, to ibc and when even the election is very far away <laughs> because that is how personality portrays somebody even when you are given a chance to shine you know musalia cannot still a show in someone is uh ndc he was he was given even a chance in uh, kirinyaka he never stole the show he focused on things that uh, don't excite or bring attention to people so such a uh, personality oriented in terms of uh tuseme ni kama kupindua serikali ama kuleta mapinduzi kwa chama then mali hanga mako i'm seeing his photo not moving Oh, I think he is having a network problem. Okay, can we now have parting shots, guys? I need to sleep. It's two. It's a uh, thirteen minutes to two, so we can do two minutes and then uh, to end the rest. Let I donate my two minutes to to Mr. Nabia. He will present on my behalf. I also want to do some work, but I'm listening. So okay, you'll... thank you. Two four minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes. Nabi, you have been proposed to do four minutes, and then we call to Joe Meamuka. Ah. Uh, you will do two minutes. We call to Elisha, and then we finish with the uh, Lemba. I just arrived. Watch a mungira aonge as I recollect myself. And we say what to answer na Nabi. Okay. Thank you, Ekesa. Um. I want to make the following uh, points as uh, from the discussion we've had today. That uh, the next, uh, as we go towards uh, the festival, we expect that uh, Oka will close shop. And it will close shop with uh, Musalia being a casualty because he's going to remain a lone ranger and the moment he remains a lone ranger, his food soldiers will join UDA. Number two, I expect in the next two to three weeks that English will join uh, Azimio uh, and, and therefore put Waiguru where she belongs. Number three, uh, there is something which is happening between Oka and some team of Mount Kenya. And I'm personally calling it a uh, stalking, political stalking, which is being uh, led by Kabogo. Uh, and, and that will uh, present a new dimension in terms of activating the movement towards Azimio. And uh, something happened in uh, Wekesa today which uh, we maybe you may consider tomorrow the day after we need to speak about it what is it what is the message that william samoyo ruto was passing to the people of rift valley why did he change the messaging uh, from what he has been telling the people in mount kenya and central rift as opposed to what he did in Nandi and uh, Wasingishu and, uh, and, and South Rift. I'm particularly concerned that uh, in Wasingishu, he waded into the issue of nomination, uh, whereas in, 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 in Nakuru, he has tended to be very clear that uh, Kihiga, Susan, he actually is actually imposing Susan on the people of Nakuru. But in Wasingishu, 
he changed the, the tact and said he would like it open and he would like to see democracy thrive. That, to me, tells you who William Samoyo Ruto is, a double-edged sword. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, although there the, the are those also who have inside information say that in the closed door meeting, meetings, he said that while they were to they are not going, the, 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 the voters are going to punish them. So when he's in Rift Valley, he speaks in different languages, but he's concealing his intentions. That's what we know. <laughs> okay, uh, now we have. Um, Elisha, and then we go to Joe. Thank you very much. Now, uh, so far, I'm grateful because uh, so far it's good that uh, things are coming, are shaping up towards uh, Hello. Hello. the end of preparations for campaign. Now, uh, as we've said today, that Raila stole the show at the Wiper, uh, Wiper, Dem the Wiper Democratic Party NDC meeting at Kasarani today. Why? Because even the, 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 the Wiper leader himself knows that Raila has always been on top of the game. He has the experience. His people believe what he has been communicating even to his electorate is that we have, you know, Kalonso has worked so much and for a while with Raila. And the message he has always preached to his people is that this is a good man. He's a steadfast uh, leader. He has is nurturing democracy in Kenya. He loves to see parties grow and he is persistent. He, is, he, insists, he insists and speaks and acts towards his concepts. So people tend to have internalized that, especially the Wiper Party movement and its followers. And they believe that even in the coming of Raila in that NDC today was just to confirm that Kalonzo is still a good friend, and Raila is still a good friend to the Kamba Nation, to the Wiper Party. So Raila is, is, is actually being fronted for the front seat because he is more trusted. Most Kenyans, not even Kambas alone, trust him. And again, he knows how to play politics in the right direction because so far we have noticed and you've realized and so many other people, even from the central region, they know whether they vote for Raila or they don't vote for him, he will still make it even with the votes that he has had since time and again. He has, he has, we, we have had leaders from central, we have had so many leaders from the current regime who've joined hands with the, with the ODM, with Raila, simply because of the handshake between Raila and Uhuru Kenyatta, phrasing it out openly that there is never a time Raila has stood, has actually come up to vie for presidency and failed. He has always been winning. And this is some, something that Kalonso knows very well. So what we have seen today is that people are confirming that even though there is that opposition from Ruto and his likes, Raila is still the man to beat. He still has the masses. He still has that following. He still have, has a people who are ready to sacrifice everything they have for this leader to clinch the, the position of power as a president of Kenya. And as we know very well, politics is actually a game of ideas and uniting those, those ideas together to achieve that common good politically, which actually affects the whole society. So this is the man to beat. I will still stick to that, that he's stealing the show and he will still, still 
still they show even. Even if Ruto invited Raila in his meeting in Eldoret, Tafadhali, kama angeitua Eldoret wakati Ruto ana launch presidency yake, he will steal that show. I believe because he has that following, he has that command, he has that persistence. He stands firm and insists. Ukiona Raila anarudia, anarudia, kile ile alfsita ile reward yake kwa wa Kenya wale wamefanya bidii kwa miaka mingi na wanaishi bado katika umaskini is like a reward ameimba huo wimbo imekuwa ni imani watu wa internalize kama imani so you know he knows how to do it and the strategies he's using right now is is past 2013 is it is actually past 2017 he's doing something extra meaning if you look at what uh, what he did by shaking hands with uhuru he knew what he was doing he was playing an up, a, 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 something that is beyond imagination he knew in the end i will achieve this and by the way, he achieved it because kenyans look at him as the father of the nation who has Kenya as at, at, at his heart. Uh, and this is a person now we need to actually hand we just hand power to Raila and feel safe and be safe. So for me today I I I, I thank God because so far with my belief as a staunch believer in his political idea I've seen progress. So far, Kalonso is in the box. He has always been there. So he is in the box. We are just waiting. But those who are stepping out, we are very sure they will not go with the masses. They will go with their individual votes. But inside them, we cut out of yeah. the water. Yeah, with a part of our support, we believe in these strategies and ideas. Thank you. I rest my feet. You guys, bless you. I'll rest for me to wake up to early in the morning. Yeah, thank you. Wale mnaweza the elders wanaenda nyeri muende mufanye declaration. Go. Tukutane nyeri for declaration. Jo, you yeah. are you are two minutes and then uh, we finish with them. I, I I have two minutes to sleep. Okay. I've heard what two you people have talked uh, about uh, people moving here and there in Agirishi and all those things. Uh, my my opinion here is uh, politics has just started eh? and uh, we are already seeing a clear indication that Raila is going to be the man to beat. It's no longer Ruto like people were thinking about. Ruto is now on the defensive even in his home turf in uh, Rift Valley. Already there are there are, there are splinter groups. There are, there are people who are not for him already. As uh, compared to Raila, Raila, I think it is home staff. Although he's a Nairobian, he's home staff in Nyanza. We have seen even people now coming in from Port Kenya. We, are, we the only person maybe that is still obstinate is Obado, but Obado has got no followers, even is in hometown. So. Politics have just started. We'll see a lot of movement. It's 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 not a matter of uh, there's a script. The script could be with the with the top men, maybe the deep states, Raila and Ruto. But those under them are just trying their luck wherever where, wherever they think they have a future. So with uh, Raila, it's 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 now outstanding because even the reception he he got today was an indicator. Kalonzo. Kalonzo, I think he's trying to redeem himself after he talked badly that uh, he cannot be a mad person to support Raila. And I think today was uh, an opportunity that he got and he made use of it. So he's just trying to redeem himself. That's what I, I, I see. On the others, the others means Mudavadi, Wetangula, Gideon Moy, the, 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 Then we know we know where they're going. Gideon Moy will not go against Uhuru. Where Uhuru is is where he'll stand. If Uhuru changes his mind and starts supporting like 
we are hearing some things that Mudavadi could be still on the list for what were Mount Kenya. So if 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 uh, Kenyatta says it's Mudavadi or the Mount says it's Mudavadi, Gideon will move. So we know he's done. The only person that is obstinate over nothing, and I believe it's over nothing, is Mudavadi. Mudavadi, his future, and if he doesn't get anything this time round, I think that's the end of it. That's the end of it. Ruto, Ruto, Ruto. I think uh, he he was. The Ruto guys were boasting that uh, they have changed the narrative of politics to economic. But this one might not not be the case as we move forward. Soon it's going to be about trust. Whom do you trust? The narrative of Mambo and Wilbarros, G, bottom up. Don't you, think, don't you think even their own narrative has changed in the rallies? Now they are talking about you. Uh, a comment talking about <laughs> the things that uh, they never used to talk about. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Root has been always that way. It's been changing. So, yake hiyo mambo ya kusema ti ameleta topic ya ya economy. Hiyo itakwisha. Soon it's gonna be. It's gonna be about who do you trust. Mudavadi has been even also pushing that one. Whom do you trust? Even today, I think I had uh, Yirongo's speech. It was about trust issues. And uh, the people who are talking about Kalonzo, it was about trust issues. People who are talking about Raila is about trust issues. So when it comes to trust issues, Ruto is completely finished because I don't think anybody can trust him anymore. Even the hustlers, Zambaya and Asema, I don't think they can trust him anymore. So that is my, my submission. Thank you. Okay, Themba, take us home. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you, uh, panelists who have uh, who have been here. Indeed, uh, it's it's always interesting for those of us who follow the the happenings in the political scene, and indeed uh, we read. Uh, everything that they give us and we give interpretations to it and for now i think i want to agree with joe there seems to be a sense of desperation on the other side they are talking about the idea of uh, people resigning you know getting worried about uh, you know the the organizing committee i mean the the, the, the committee that is basically trying to see if uh, the delivery of uh, a, a good and credible election happens. And I think that's a position where the opposition has always been, and the opposition has always been the other side, the Baba side, because in the run up to any election, the call has always been, uh, you know, we, we point out the weaknesses of IABC. And uh, there was a, actually immediately after Kiamba election, there was a pointing out of the weakness of IABC, it was a constituency poll taking all that time for, for them to give us uh, the results, that was telling of the IEBC that we had. But right now, you hear the voice is getting loud and louder from the other side. I also pick the idea of them coming out and starting to question <laughs> the, the person of the CJ. Have they already, you know, CJ comes in at the point of, uh, you know, arbitration in the event of uh, any problems, you know, contestations, if people don't agree after the election. But what is happening right now, they're already preempting that they will be going to the Supreme Court. You know, that's an interesting scenario that I'm picking, that they are now saying, if you're going to be an arbiter, how come you're sitting in this process right now? Are they foreseeing themselves going to the Supreme Court at any point? Which I've always said, yes, we foresee that happening. If you foresee them contesting um, the polls because of the scenario, you know why? But uh, Wekesa, they have been there. You know, they have seen what happened <laughs> to the other side. They they actually sent us to the courts. You know, there's a time Ruto was so bold and said, even if you want to put Oburu Odinga as your the IBC chairperson, we don't care. We are ready. But right now, a simple committee is causing drama. 
a simple committee that is being formed. So it, it tells you that whatever it is that he says during the day is not necessarily what he means, you know, because he's, he's already worried. Why? He knows the mechanisms. You see, Wekesa, if uh, you are a friend to, to Joe, and uh, the last time you, you talked to Joe, you talked about me. If you see me with Joe, you'll imagine we are talking about you. So you see, the, 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 the thing is, they know what happened. And right now, even from the people who are coming in, they're saying Baba has been winning all this time. It was, I'm quoting Rachel Shebesh, that says Baba won the three times, you know, but they have been stealing. So even when people come and saying that you see this worked, there are people who are trying to propose the idea that uh, the, the, the way they, they put in the sympathy about, uh, I mean, ICC, it pulled people towards them, then why didn't they win? <laughs> so that didn't work. It means that therefore, whatever it is that they had didn't work. And what they think works is what they think right now is not in their hands. And that's why they are making noise. So I think uh, we are we are going to see a lot of uh, you know they said they were going to write to to the to make an official complaint to IBC. I, I personally I like that because that is where we have always been in the lead up to most elections. We have always been writing to IBC. We have always been crying for the change of the officials. Right now it's interesting. They are the ones who are actually proposing that. So they are feeling the heat when you don't have the support of the people you think are the system. But their panic is out of that, out of the awareness of what goes. We don't know what goes on. And from Baba's side, if he has been winning for the three times without the system, it means, therefore, it's easy for him to win this time round. <laughs> because definitely the system is... Actually, what happens, the system doesn't even need to interfere. It needs just to sit back and watch Baba win, free and square. And that is what the direction we'd want to go. You know, it's not supposed to be any interference. We agree with them, at least to that extent, that there shouldn't be interferences with any electoral process. Let it run without any interference, and then we see, we go to the line. Finally, uh, it will be interesting to see, like Wakesa said, the developments moving forward. We'd want to see if what Kalonzo said today comes to fruition as uh, we move forward. We'd want to see if uh, Kalonzo will still, uh, uh, you know, look mad by supporting Raila, we'd want to see if Mudavadi will still stick by not supporting Raila for the second time. We'd want to see what happens. But politics being politics, uh, a, a day or a month or even a, a 24 hours is too long in politics. Sometimes you make the appropriate de decisions. Like they say that there comes a time <laughs> when the country is bigger than the individual. I think I'll close there for today. Thank you so much, Wekesa. Thank you so much, Joe and Alicia. See you again in our next discussion, hopefully tomorrow, when we, when we, when we try and analyze the Nyeri, Nyeri occurrence. Uh, thank you so much, uh, dear panelists, for staying up to this hour. I know it's not easy, but... Uh, You've tried, and uh, especially Joe, who has helped me to moderate, uh, Themba, and then uh, Elisha, uh, and all those even who have dropped off, uh, your contribution was important. Thank you for those who were unable to come to this panel, but joined us through the comment sections. We have seen your contributions. Uh, they are enriching. Uh, the conversation should keep going. Uh, for the topic we have been discussing, I think it's time for Kenyans to reflect. Uh, one, one of the things I will pick from the NDC is that uh, it's never that serious. These people who look like uh, they are pulling from, uh, to, from different directions, Today they met and uh, it looks like there's a possibility of them working together. They may not work together, all of them, but at least uh, quite a number of them can agree on uh, going the same direction. That means you and me also can differ on ideas, yes, on a political stance, but uh, 
we can always look for a point of convergence and uh, focus on what unites us more than uh, what uh, divides us. But uh, all things, uh, if I can pick a catchphrase from the WIPA NDC is that uh, Hakika tutaweza na inawezekana. So it's possible for us to work together as Kenyans. It's possible for us to unite around an idea. It's also possible for us to reject uh, bad leadership and uh, focus on what uh, can help us uh, build this nation. So we will be meeting here and we will continue meeting here every day, discussing on current affairs, uh, perhaps to enrich each other and uh, open our eyes to see there are more than happens behind the corridors of power than what the PR that uh, leaders put on display. And so it's our duty to create a forum to analyze and see beyond the optics of uh, what is created and be able to make an informed analysis of what is going on in our leadership. Otherwise, have a good night. Let's meet tomorrow. Or today is already tomorrow. tomorrow. Shalom. <laughs> Shalom. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs>